Okay, fingers crossed my stream does not die in the first five minutes like yesterday, but we should be okay. Yes? Anyway, hello everyone. <laughs> Welcome back. We're gonna play some Not So Berry today. Uh, how have you been? Small day for the Sims community. No big news or anything. It's just been like a really chill day. Uh, <laughs> nothing happened today. <laughs> there was no teasers for long-awaited Sims packs or anything like that. You know, it's just any other Tuesday, you know? Totally normal day. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, did you not see? Oh, we'll talk. We'll talk. Give me a second. We'll talk. <laughs> we got some stuff to, to uh, digest together <laughs> today. <laughs> Uh, but it's been a big day, so we'll talk, don't worry. Uh, by the way, Mikey and, and TR and Cupid and Taya and User Lame, uh, Sugar, Venus, Ali, Pisa, thank you all for the subs. Um, but yeah, it's been a day. <laughs> I did make a video um, talking about it, so if you wanted to hear my thoughts in a nine minute long format, you're welcome to go watch that. But uh, you don't have to, I'll talk about it here too, so <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> Abs and Livy and Enda and Lonnie and H and Love. Thank you all for the subs too, everybody. Okay, okay. I think we're good. Let me open my game. Uh, where do I live? Mount Kamarebi. I was like trying to find the world <laughs> on the list. We have a lot of worlds nowadays. It's becoming a long list. Oh my god. I just remembered what I did to myself last time. Oh no. Okay. Um. Long story short. I forgot that I had Risky Woohoo set up to 25%. My sim's pregnant. Gonna be an elder in like a couple days, but my sim's pregnant. Uh, also, one of the teenagers only wears a bear costume. Um, oh my god. <laughs> oh, we're in for it today. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. I'm good. It's fine. Everything's fine. We're gonna- y you know what? We're fine. <laughs> We'll deal with this. We will deal with this. It's okay. Um, yikes. Okay. Well, I'm gonna give people a few more minutes to come in before I start uh, discussing The Sims news because we're probably gonna talk about it like four times today. So I'll give them a few more minutes and then we will discuss the announcement um, that The Sims- Well, it wasn't really an announcement. It was more of like a teaser. The Sims posted a quarterly teaser today. So uh, we'll talk, but I want to give people a few more minutes just in case because I'm going to talk about it now and then like five minutes from now they'll come in and be like, wait, what? <laughs> so give people a little bit more time. Um, also, Maddie and Yasmin, Lissa, Desiree, Blue and Alex and Wise and, and uh, Kikido, Exo and B and Ali and Vita and Untamable and Mr. Plumbob, uh, Nimbus, Zoe, Morty, Lunar, Brooklyn, Dolby, uh, Jude, Kelsey, Renee, Morgan, Star, Siren, Black Rose, Nick, Johnny, Fiery, Sofa, how much should I miss? Louisa, Sims Obsession? Blazy, Purple, Elixir, Chloe, Barry, Bratman. Thank you all for the subs. Okay. Sims 4 dentist years. Oh, don't even get me started about the teeth. <laughs> we have so much to talk about. <laughs> I'm gonna let my Sims sleep through the night probably though. Uh, before we start discussing so that we can make a little bit of progress. <laughs> Task and Cat. Uh, Kay and Munchkin and Zoe and Midnight. Thank you for the subs. Uh, Herb as well. Aaron with the five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll make them sleep. Oh dear. Oh dear. Deep breaths. <laughs> Deep breaths with the teeth. <laughs> the Sims 4, my first tooth. My first lost tooth stuff. <sighs> anyway, you want to see the teasers? I'll talk about them in a second, but if you haven't seen them, you can check the Sims Twitter account. Uh, you'll see them there too. The Sims posted on all their socials the teaser today, so if you missed it, you can see it there. Uh, if you're abundantly curious, but I will talk about it in like two minutes, literally. I just want to give people a, a few minutes to get here. I only went live four minutes ago, so <laughs> I figured we could let people sort of round up and, and show up and then we could talk about it. <laughs> um, okay, take a bath. Sure. You could probably get up and take a shower too, as soon as you're ready. Thursday, 6 a.m. We're ready. We're ready. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Beloved Leo Bookworm, Jack and Sissa and Vic and Aaron and Simaris and Purple and Cupcakes and Shay and Janice and, and Pi and Cameron and everybody. Thank you for the subs. Oh, it's Harvest Fest. Okay, that's good. We'll have the day off. That makes today easier. This will be an easier experience this morning. 
<laughs> okay, okay, chat, listen, listen. So, The Sims tweeted today. Let me go to their Twitter so I can show you. Um, a quarterly teaser. Now, what that means is, generally every few months, The Sims posts a teaser on Twitter uh, and like Instagram and stuff where they show off like the packs that are coming for the next like three months. Again, it's quarterly usually, so it happens like four times a year and they show off like what's gonna come in the next three months. So in the past, they'll be like, oh, we're gonna get an expansion pack, a stuff pack and a kit or whatever. Um, in this case, there's no stuff packs because they seem to be dead, but uh, they usually sort of tease what's going to happen. Well, in the quarterly teaser today, they teased four things. One update, which we kind of already knew about because they had teased um, that like a couple months ago. That's gonna be the infant update, I assume. Uh, they said one big update, big in all caps. I, I assume big update would imply, you know, the, the baby update. <laughs> They're gonna be adding a new life state um, in between the babies we have now and toddlers called infants. Um, and that's gonna be in a free base game update at some point in the next couple months. We already knew about that. They said that was coming in early 2023. So that wasn't like a huge announcement. Like we, we kind of knew. Um, and then they teased two kits. <laughs> also, I guess not really a huge announcement. Like that's not a huge surprise uh, that we'll be getting a couple kits in the next few months. I, I anticipate that. <laughs> I'm okay, sure. There's gonna be a couple kits. We'll get to that. Then, then they said, expansion pack. Now this is a big deal. New lighting and camera looks crisp and warm. No, not new lighting or new camera, but thank you. <laughs> oh, I've had the same camera for a couple years now and the, the same lights and stuff. Maybe it's just different lighting from the outside right now. And that's why you think it looks better. Um, but anyway, they teased expansion pack and the expansion pack is a big deal because typically in the early days of The Sims 4, we used to get two expansions a year, usually one in like the summer, spring, summer, and then one like around the holidays, like October, November ish. Um, we used to get two. And then the past few years, I presume because of COVID, maybe it like slowed down their production. We only got one a year. Um, well, <laughs> they teased that in this quarter, I presume we'll be getting an expansion pack. Um, and this makes sense because they had teased that we'd get two expansion packs, uh, like in that Sim Summit thing, they sort of talked about there being two expansion packs. So I'm not like super surprised by that. Um, but I'm really excited about it. And it's sooner than I expected too. But this is what they posted. Um, it says the Michelson reunion, San Sequoia 2023. Uh, I guess maybe like it's implying a family reunion sort of uh, invite or something. They said one big update, it's a diaper. Okay, babies. <laughs> Two unique kits. Underwear and toothpaste? This one really, really threw me for a loop. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Bathroom stuff, maybe? Like, I, I don't know. Sure, sure. Okay, <laughs> whatever. One expansion pack, this is big. And then this, I think, Okay, hear me out. It's a bear, right? But it looks like a tooth. Tooth bear, tooth bear -y? Tooth fairy? It's sort of what I was getting out of this. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> it might be a stretch. But by the way, that's the second teeth thing they've shown in this teaser, which is a little bit alarming. I hate to say it, but like, why are we talking about teeth so much? Um, anyway, so that was the expansion pack hint. Uh, and then also a community stream January 31st. Maybe there'll be an announcement that day or it's just like a regular stream, who knows? Um, you never know with them. Uh, <laughs> and then it just is like this. It says, it's all relative. In the tweet they posted, get familiar with The Sims this season. So everybody's kind of like, are you teasing a Generations pack? <laughs> like, are you are you teasing a family pack? Is this, a, is this Generations? Um, and that's kind of the, the thought that's come out of this. Um, the tooth fairy thing kind of screams generations to me as does the um, it's all relative, get familiar thing. Like, um, so that checks out. I don't know, the, to the teeth thing is, is confusing though. It seems like there's been quite a theme of teeth recently and it's beginning to scare me. Like <laughs> I posted a tweet, wait, um, I posted a tweet of all of the teeth things they've shown. Cause we had this and then obviously the tooth bear and then in this from the Sim Summit, there was like dentures. It, it 
it's like an alarming amount of teeth, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Sure, Sims team. Oh, I pulled my headphones out. That's really annoying. Hang on. Hang on. <sighs> but it's making me get a little bit concerned. It must be, I assume this is kit related, the dentures um, and like the toothpaste thing, but I don't know. This whole screen is like, it looks like kits to me. These things we already have from a kit. Um, this one, maybe the toothpaste kit, underwear kit, I don't know. This all looks like kit stuff to me, but we'll see, I guess. Um, watch it not be generations, I know. <laughs> I know. Um, but the other thing is that, um, what was I going to say? Oh, the they had posted like in that Sim Summit live stream, they teased a world um, and it looked like maybe San Francisco inspired. There was like a bridge in the background and then that same bridge was on the Sims tweet today. And so it looks like that's probably the world that we're getting, um, which is kind of exciting. I don't know, they haven't said any timing yet. Like they haven't given any actual time frames. We're all just kind of assuming it's gonna be in the next couple months because usually they do these quarterly teasers and it's for the next like three months. Um, but I don't know, it could, maybe it's longer, maybe it's not, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, that's, that's the update, that's the big tease is that there's gonna be an expansion pack coming soon. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I think this bear picture is just stuffed animal. Really? Everybody on Twitter thinks it's a tooth. Everybody thinks it's a tooth. I'm more inclined to believe it's a tooth because of the other tooth references, but everybody on Twitter thinks it's a tooth. It could be a stuffed bear. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Um, but it's very interesting. You think coloring books? I guess the style is kind of saying, kind of seems coloring book-like. So that makes sense to me too. Hang on, I think I just, I don't remember if my display capture is on or off, so let me triple check before I, um, before I, no, okay, we're good. We are good. Um, <laughs> Sim Guru Frost comes in and he's like, it's definitely not a tooth. <laughs> no, he hasn't said that yet. He hasn't said that yet. We'll see though. Um, it could be a horse. Oh my god, not this again. <laughs> yeah, you know what guys? I don't think it's a bear. I think it's a horse. It looks like a horse to me. It's not a bear or a tooth, it's a horse. <laughs> or maybe it's a spaceship, hard to say. Um. <laughs> people are gonna, the thing is, we need to be careful with how we behave because people are gonna hear this out of context and be like, little Susie said horses. <laughs> but it's a tooth. It's a tooth. We can't, we can't keep doing this. <laughs> We can't keep doing this. <laughs> oh, anyway, I'm gonna try and read some subs again. Bear with me. Um, Elena and Lulu and Royal, Rochelle, HCath and Otaku and Kayla, <gasps> Kayla and Lauren and Tina and Purple, uh, Ginger, Sax and Celestial, Emmy, uh, Kay and Shell and Jen and Lil Bird and Help and Slowly, Insane and Ariel and Weak, Margaret, Jay, Swifty, uh, Blue, Amanda, Ankh and Duchess and Silver and Love and Pink and Wet and Pain. Uh, Matt on a thousand bits, Sharon, Arid Lee. Thank you all so much. I'm sorry if I missed anything. I really am not trying to. Um, but I'm also spending a ridiculous amount of time talking about teeth today, so it's entirely possible that I did. So. <laughs> oh my god, Lex, could you imagine? We all think that the baby update is coming, but it's actually like horses. <laughs> oh. We gotta stop. We gotta stop. What are you doing cooking? I thought I told you to shower. What is wrong with you? At least you don't have work today, or school, I guess. That's the other thing. Um, fairies, maybe? Do you know what? I was joking with my friend about that earlier, about how everybody has been like, please, please, can we have fairies? I want, like, a more occult sims. Please, can we have fairies? And the sims, like, fairies? Tooth fairy. <laughs> Like, it's just really funny. I mean, not even, not, not even be a tooth fairy, we're just assuming, but like, <laughs> they heard fairies and they said, okay, teeth. Teeth fairies. <laughs> anyway, for those of you that maybe are just tuning in, um, this is my not so berry challenge. Uh, we are on the fourth generation of not so berry, almost the fifth. So uh, basically the rules of not so berry are kind of simple. Um, the idea is that each generation kind of has like a color theme. Um, and so uh, 
there are all the traits and skills and things are based around that. We just are finishing the gray generation and we're working on the purple one now. Um, so you can see my gray gen sim. One of his parents was an alien, <laughs> so he's half alien and gray. Um, you want to get to know Aspen? Sure. Uh, this is his daughter, Raisin. She's purple. Hope it makes sense. <laughs> um, hope it makes sense. Uh, but that's what we've been working on, so. Uh, the other thing is, at the end of last episode, something really horrible happened to me. And that horrible thing was that I didn't realize that I had Risky Woohoo on so high. And then my Sim got pregnant. My Sim is going to be an elder really soon. And we're having a surprise baby by accident right now. All our other kids are teens. Um, this one, like, is gonna be a young adult. <laughs> but no, <laughs> we're having a baby. So, uh, that's the situation right now. Um, wish us luck. Name the baby Tooth. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, there was a poll. What do you want more, horses or fairies? That's really interesting how close it was. I'm really, really intrigued by that. I think I thought that horses would be higher than fairies. 51, 49 is really, really close. Um, I think I would probably vote for horses over fairies. But that's very interesting. <laughs> that's very interesting. Haha. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> I don't really care about occult sims all that much, so I think that's probably part of it. Um, it's not like my favorite thing. Horses, though. It's become a bit of a obsession of mine recently, so... <laughs> yeah, I think if there were to be a fairies pack, the cast that would come with that would be quite cool. I, I agree with you on, on that one. Um, that would be super cool. Okay, well, so for this generation, my sim has to really, really, really max a lot of skills. We need to, like, sincerely prioritize some skill building. Um, to like an extreme degree. <laughs> so, wish us luck with that one. Um, also, what are you doing? Do you wanna come like, is this yours? Do you wanna start over on that? Do you wanna start over on yours? I think this one is yours out here, so you can work on yours too. Spend the holiday. It literally wasn't that hard to make Simzy a horse girl, just years of persistence. I think Hope did this to me. Hope has tricked me into becoming a horse girl and I stand by it. <laughs> I stand by it. Okay. Level two of the rocket science skill. Why am I working on a rocket science one? I'm not gonna like max the rocket science skill. This is a waste of my time. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, my sister's back. That's fun. Okay, well. Maybe I'll replace this while I'm at it. I was gonna leave that because my Sims kept dying from it or lighting it on fire, I should say, but maybe I will replace it. And I'll probably cook a grand meal too while I'm while I'm at it. You gonna make it? Okay. Okay. <sighs> Let's just keep skill building. Let's just keep skill building. Everything's fine. <laughs> Jamie, purple skipping, incredible, Katie, tired, Madison, thank you all for the subs. It's unicorn stuff. You know, that is a combination of, of these two requests. I suppose you're right. I suppose you are right. Did a stuff pack that just added horses? You know, I'm gonna be honest. If they, okay. So, <laughs> if they were to do a pack that added horses, it would definitely not be a stuff pack. I, uh, for a couple reasons. Number one, um, they're probably not doing stuff packs anymore. That's not the main problem. The main problem is that I think when it comes to a thing like horses, the reason that this horse joke started uh, between all of us is that horses are like notoriously difficult to make. And in my opinion, probably one of the more unlikely things to ever come to The Sims 4, especially at this point. Um, so if they were to do them, it would it would definitely be in a bigger pack than like a stuff pack, or probably not even a game pack, probably in an expansion pack, so. Um, it would... Did you just catch a fire on the... At least you finished the tofurkey, I guess. That helps. Because the dinner's not burnt. Which makes me feel a bit better. Although, seriously, can you... <sighs> okay. <laughs> 
Oh, Marvel sack. Thank you for the subs, by the way. Okay, let me replace these. I'm gonna spend all my money on this. I'm probably gonna regret this. Won't even replace. It's broken. Oh my god. Okay, we're fine. Let me call everyone to a meal, too. <laughs> oh, this house is a little bit cursed. <laughs> It's because they're all afraid of fire, so they're more likely to start fires, and then it's just a vicious cycle. It's a vicious, unavoidable cycle. Um, anyway. <laughs> oh, can the expansion pack be a refresh of outdoor retreat since it shows a bear? You know, I don't, I don't think so. I first of all, I don't think it would be an expansion pack. Um, I, I, like, a refresh of Outdoor Retreat I don't think would be an expansion pack. There might be a weird bear theme in the pack, but I don't think it'll have anything to do with Outdoor Retreat. I think if they were to do an Outdoor Retreat refresh, I assume that they would- Oh, calm down! Come eat your- your dinner. I assume if they were to do a refresh, they would probably just tell us, like, hey, I'm doing a refresh. Like, <laughs> I don't know if they would be so sneaky about it. Um, Kind of like how they teased, like, there will be an update, there will be kits, there will be an expansion pack. I bet if they were going to do a refresh, they'd be like, there will be a refresh. Um, instead of like, you know, sneaking around <laughs> and not telling us. <laughs> I don't know if we'll ever get a pack refresh again. I, um, I have concerns. I think I talked about this in a video kind of recently, so I'm sorry for like repeating myself, but, um, I... Because we haven't gotten a pack refresh since the spa day one, I sort of worry that maybe the spa day one didn't go as well as they thought it would. And they aren't going to do it again. Like, that's that's kind of my fear, is that they, they, like, hoped that the spa day refresh would result in a lot of new sales of the pack. And then it didn't result in as many new sales of the pack as they ex as they expected or wanted or whatever. And then they realized it maybe wasn't worth it for them. Which doesn't mean that it's not worth it for us, but like, from a business standpoint, I assume maybe that's why there hasn't been a refresh since then. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I would love to have more packs refreshed, but... <laughs> um, I'm really surprised they did that in the first place. Like, to go back and revisit old content and like, give it out for free to people who already bought it is really, like, I don't know. It's kind of, like, almost unlike them <laughs> a little bit. Does that make sense? Um, but anyway, anyway. Uh, take to vet clinic. Oh, so that's what your problem is. Do I have enough vet treats? Wait. You guys can stop yelling at me about the cat. I've been taking care of the cat. I was talking to it a second ago. The reason it's so upset is because it needs a vet treat. Don't yell. <laughs> you don't need to be rude about the cat. I can see the cat needs help. I just, I was literally just talking to it. <laughs> Calm down, it's okay. Everything's fine. Okay. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> There's enough going on today. Bear with me. All right, I'm gonna see if this sim wants to work on a school project. Well, maybe you don't want to, but you're gonna have to. You can probably come work carefully on this one. And you're gonna keep doing yoga. We're trying to max as many skills as we can with this sim. Or get as high as we can with skills, so. Oh, you need to finish reading three books, too. Okay, we'll have to do that. Nick Beats and Klotzkin and Eve and Danny and Love and Seymour Sir and Gamer and Foggy and Zach. Thank you all for the subs. Oh. Okay. Okay. Lil Simsy Molar Shell. Didn't I do a house shed like a tooth already? I'm pretty sure that I made like a jokey tooth video when I got my wisdom teeth out. I'm like almost positive that I made a tooth video already. I'm I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I, I think we've been there, done that. Um, which is almost embarrassing, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I did make a tooth video. <laughs> we're, we're ready already uh, for this, it seems. Okay, okay. Maybe I'll try and do some reading then, because I have some time. Or I guess maybe I'll talk to Grave, because my uh, social is so low. And then I'll do some reading. There it is, there it is. <laughs> Thank you for the link. Uh, very, very much appreciated. 
Oh, wait, let me sell this because I don't want this thing to just like drop seeds all over my house. No, thank you. Okay. Um, do you want to read any book? Literally any book. Oh my god, it keeps deleting my stuff. I'm getting kind of annoyed at that, to be honest. Whatever. Look at this. Every time it deletes my shelves. I decided to just leave it last time because I was over it. Um, but it's really starting to annoy me. <laughs> okay. You can keep working on that. You can keep working on that. You could probably take care of yourself. How are you doing with your pregnancy? Third trimester in nine hours. Oh, I don't know where we're going to put the baby. I have so much regret. Like, genuinely, so much regret with this. This is all because of Risky Woohoo, too. You need to be careful with Risky Woohoo. I'm serious. Because it, it will hurt you. Like, you need to watch out. <laughs> it's a disaster. Sven and Man and Jordan and Folk Club, thank you for the subs. Oh, I said the gym was going to be the baby's room. That's true. It's still, like... I have to redo it and like, I don't have enough money. Oh, oh no, it's fine. It'll be fine. Oh, it's a good thing I had the day off of work today. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, anyway, Sam uh, and, and Slayer, thank you for the subs too. Okay, can we name it Oopsie? We, we actually discussed potentially naming it Wisteria which uh, I have been informed means bad luck. <laughs> uh, that, was, that was one of the ideas that we had had uh, for the baby's name. And honestly, I, I think I stand by that. <laughs> it also fits with the purple theme uh, of, of like the family and stuff. So I kind of like it. All right, I'm trying to fix my Sims social need a little bit here by talking to the cat. Oh, oh, I let the Tofurky spoil, oops. Oops. Uh, pet. Give treat. I don't know. Then we can all go to bed. Your purple sim is Wisteria too? A lot of my friends, I think, have named their not so very sims Wisteria. I've, I've heard it's a, a fave. A frequent fave. <laughs> so, uh, I like it. I'm glad. Twins, thank you for the seven month resub too. Oh. Can I name the baby Wisdom? Wisdom Teeth? Oh no. <laughs> we can name the next pet that we get Tooth. I'd do it. Oh my god, my sister's at the dentist. I'm dead serious. She just texted me complaining about it. They numbed my mouth. I hate this feeling. I forgot how bad it was. <laughs> After all of this. All of his teeth stuff today? What are the chances of that? That's so funny. Literally just now, seconds ago. 4.27 p.m. she texts me that. It's 4.28. <laughs> it's a sign. Tooth pack confirmed. Just logged into teeth. Oh my god, dad, you don't understand. The Sims team, you know how I told you I was recording earlier about the, um, like the Sims teaser thing? They have made like three tooth references recently. And it's beginning to, like, make us scared. <laughs> We're starting to get a little bit nervous about what their intentions are with all these teeth. There was, like, a picture of dentures. There was a toothpaste and toothbrush thing. And, and, there was, like, a tooth-shaped bear. And now Shanna's the dentist. So, <laughs> anyway, long story short, we're starting to grow concerned. People keep saying dentist career, but I literally cannot fathom that. I, like, actually cannot imagine that happening in The Sims, but that would be so funny. I feel like they should. Even if that's not what's happening and it's just a coincidence and it's, like, teasing a bathroom pack or something. I If they gave us a, a dentist career, because it could be, like, a rabbit hole thing. Like, I don't need to do, like, an active dentist job. <laughs> It'd be fun, but, like, it could be, like, a rabbit hole just to say my Sims been a dentist. Because I feel like you could add that fairly easily, you know? But if they add a dentist, I would that would be so funny. <laughs> that would be so funny. I would really enjoy that. Teeth removal mini game? Oh my god, imagine. You will never play a dentist career? <laughs> I don't, I mean, I don't know. I'd play it. I'd play pretty much any career they gave me, though. 
Um, again, I don't need it to be an active career. Oh, this is why you're not sleeping, because this thing's on. I don't need it to be an active career. Uh, I just like the idea of, like, uh, rabbit hole careers just for the the purpose of the label like I really enjoy being able to just say like oh my sim is this uh, It's nice for like storytelling purposes to be able to say like oh my sim does this job Oh my sim does this job or you know, whatever even if they don't Have much difference between them. It's just nice to have the label so and for the most part, like, pretty much all of the rabbit hole careers are like the same anyway <laughs> you know like the um you know, if your sim's in the business career, it's not that much different than the fitness career. They just have different hours and a different skill they have to build, like... But the career itself is very similar, <laughs> so... My sim is scared of ghosts, uh, so she's having a really rough night. What skill would come with dentistry? I, it would probably be, like, logic or something. <laughs> Maybe you have to build, like, the logic and the handiness skills to do the dentist career. Thoughts? <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, my cat is blocking my, um, I can't see my screen or my keyboard to put my hand back on the keys. All right, go back to sleep. Are you stuck? Is that what's happening right now? I think he might be. Here, go to sleep. Hi, Snap. If you come to say hello, if you want to sit on your chair, I can put a cat cam on you. And we can film you. It'll be fun. Why won't my sim sleep? I think, I think she might be glitched. Um, trying to reset her. Reset object. Uh, you know what? I get one need cheat a day. <laughs> and I've decided to use it right now. Yeah, look, she's glitched. Oh, no, she's not. Sorry. Sorry. Are the kids gonna get a fear of the dentist? Oh, if they added a new fear, they could have fear of the dentist. See, this will be fun. Also, um, Estrella and Cece and Emo and Massa and Glider and Power and Laura and Amanda and Drizzy and uh, Camellia, thank you for the subs. Oops. One second. I have my drawer open. I don't want the cat to step on the drawer and like fall or something. Okay. Oh, are you? Oh, I think the ghost just fixed my toilet. Oh, eh, only to haunt it again. <laughs> no way. No way. Also, do I have work tonight? Yes, annoyingly. Oh, he didn't break it. Okay, that's good. That's good. Did Bonnie move out? Yeah, we needed the space uh, now that we're having another baby. And, and Bonnie aged up into a young adult, so we moved her out. Um, I'm filled with so much regret, you have no idea. How pregnant are we? Give birth any time. Oh no. Ugh. Did she get married? No, I don't think Bonnie's ever gonna get married. In my mind, meow. I, I think Bonnie might never get married. Um, okay, are you gonna cook like I asked you to, or no? Apparently not. Well, do you want to read another book? Do I have a bookshelf down here? Um, yes, literally right here. Just read anything. How about that? How about that? Oh, do you want to fill this? Maybe you could take a bath, too. I don't know. Make your day better. <laughs> um, what if the kids get, like, braces for their teeth? Well, we have braces already. Uh, we do have braces in cast. I can show you. We have a few, like, teeth variants. There isn't, like, gameplay tied to getting braces, like, having to go and get braces or whatever. It's just, like, a, a customization, basically. Like, you can just oh, pick a different Lord. tooth for your sim. <laughs> and then <laughs> they can have braces. Um, and I can- oh, my sim has braces. Look at that. Uh, but yeah, you can- you can pick, like, the- tooth customization to give your sim braces or whatever. Um, so, that's been a thing. I know you might not spend a lot of time clicking on your sim's teeth, but <laughs> there's a few base game teeth variants that you can choose from, mm -hmm. so. <laughs> My sim does have braces though, there you go. I didn't remember giving them to her, but that's cute. 
would have never figured that out. Yeah, there's a lot of things in this game that you might not realize about this. You know, there's so many options. Hello. Thank you, Snap. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> You know, Hangry, we should do a shell challenge soon. Let me look at my schedule. Um, how about Monday? Okay. Shell challenge on Monday. That'll work. It's not going to be a tooth. <laughs> I don't think it'll be tooth shaped. Okay. But how about we do a shell challenge on Monday? I think that's doable. What's everybody upset about? Oh, your social need is low and your hygiene is low? Okay, well you can get your social up at school. So that's fine. Just go to school, you're scaring me. It can't be tooth shaped. Think logically for a second about how much of a nightmare a tooth shaped shell would actually be. I'm gonna let my sim be late to school. No, she won't finish the book in time, just go. Just go. Everyone go. Do you have work today? Yes. Okay. Oh no. Toothbrush. Oh. <laughs> what about like toothpaste? That's an idea. A toothpaste shaped shell challenge. Yeah, we we did a tooth shaped build once actually, but it, it wasn't um it wasn't a tooth shell. It was just a tooth shaped build. I did that when I got my wisdom teeth out as a joke. Oh my god! Stop doing that! Put the fire out! This is actually so inconvenient. You have no idea. I know it's my fault. Like, I'm the one who, who like, did this and made the fire toilet, but it's actually becoming unbearable. <laughs> like, I don't know how much more of this I can take. Is there anything I can sell? <sighs> no, not really. I need all these things. I don't really want to sell my good camera. I'll just- my sim's gonna make money at work today. It's fine. Do you have work today? Yeah, they both have work today. Okay, that's actually helpful. And also, like, when I come in here, I- I can sell some of my workout equipment to get the baby's room. So, this isn't terrible, this situation. Like, I, I can afford to decorate a baby's room. It's just not ideal. I'll get there once the baby's actually born. I don't wanna do it now. <laughs> I don't wanna have to worry about it yet. Okay. Use the bathroom. I'm not gonna fix this. I'm actually gonna just let this be broken because I'm sick of spending money on it. It's too much. It's too much. I'm over it. <laughs> what do I, Angie, Shira, Acrylic, Geese, and Neff, and Tab, and Rhea, and Judith, and Big Moon, thank you for the subs. Just get a bassinet, that's it? Yeah, we could do that for the baby, but they're gonna need it, like some toddler stuff pretty soon after because they're not babies for that long. What baby? Mm. I forgot my Sims had Risky Woohoo on. I I usually play with it on like one percent, but I had it set to twenty five when I from when I was playing the Black Widow challenge, and now my Sims pregnant, uh, and all their kids are teens. So this is a real accident, baby. What's happening to us right now? And I'm filled with regret. So. <sighs> Oh well. Oh well. Does the baby have to be gray? Okay, so it tells that, uh, I don't, generally, when I play the Not So Berry Challenge, the way that I do it is I have the house fit the color scheme of the generation. So this is the gray generation. So the whole house is gray, but the kids are technically part of the purple generation, the plum generation. So usually I have the kids' bedrooms be purple themed. I don't know if you can tell. Um, so I'll probably have the baby's room be purple when they're born. At least the teens can help raise the child. Yeah, they're gonna have to because their parents are gonna be dead by the time the kid gets older. <laughs> it's gonna be on my sim to raise the baby. This sim, Raisin, is gonna be raising the baby on her own, probably. 
Anyway, it's fine. I'm good. I'm good. It's fine. <laughs> When's the baby due? Oh, probably like now. My sim's in their third trimester, so this is actually so cute. Are you kidding? What are you doing? Don't claw on my chair. She always does it when I'm streaming and only when I'm streaming. No, that's a really good one, actually. I'm gonna keep that picture forever. So cute. Okay, I could probably take down these decorations too. All right. All right, maybe I'll sell the rest. <laughs> See if we could save some money. Need a scratching post next to it? I have one! Fuzzy, I literally have a scratching post right here. I'm touching it. She uses that all the time. All the time. But only when I am streaming does she scratch my chair. It is only when I'm streaming. I think it's an attention-seeking behavior. Because she literally has a scratching post right here. <laughs> Trust me, I know. And she uses it. It isn't like she doesn't like it. She uses her scratching post. <sighs> Cats. Anyway, it's she only does it when I'm live. So I know it's an attention-seeking thing. Look at her. Seeking attention right there. Unbelievable. She's showing off. It's like she knows. <laughs> When's Raisin aging up? Oh, not yet. Uh, she still has a while. 13 days, luckily. Luckily. How are you doing need-wise? We're gonna get an A. That'll be fun. All right. These two are gonna have work soon. I, I think that Eric is probably gonna go to work and then give birth while at work. Um, which is okay, because I need a little bit of money. <laughs> yeah, Tegan, you know, in the old house, she used to hit my plant when I was streaming. Um, are we in labor now? What are you doing? Go to work. Go to work. Oh, oh, trapped. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Teleport, teleport, teleport. Wait, he's broken. Teleport. Okay, go to work. There we go. Okay. Can I take paternity leave? No, I'd rather him go to work. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I'd rather him go. <laughs> so, um, my other sim also has... <sighs> Raisin has to go to work, and I really should go to work. Oh, outstanding work raisin. I've noticed your impressive grades, which makes you eligible for early graduation. Would you like to? If I had raisin graduate early, we could spend all day skill building at home. That might actually be really smart for us. We won't get a graduation ceremony if we do that, but we could spend like a lot of time at home working on skills. And I feel like that kind of works for her story. Oh, I did it. Oh my God. <laughs> Early graduate. Okay. I think that works. She can go to college. Can she as a teen? I don't know if that's like for our purposes. I don't know if that's a good idea for like not so very. But yeah, she can enroll in university as a teen. But I don't know if that's good for us. Because, like, we don't really need, like, a degree. What we need is skills. You know? That's, like, the main thing, is we just have to max a lot of skills for the plum gen. It'll help you build a lot of skills, though. I mean, you build some skills in university, but we can build skills faster on our own. Like, I'm level 6 yoga, or wellness, I mean. Trying to get that up. Classes build skills. Yeah, a little bit. And career boost. Yeah, but it's, I, I don't know. I feel like it's not necessarily worth it. For our purposes, at least. I don't know. We don't need no education. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't think- it might be fun, but I'm not sure if it's, like, smart of us to do. Because it takes so long and, like, so much effort. I think it's too much work for too little reward. Oh, I'm missing work. Oh my god, Kayla! 
I forgot. Dang it. I have to work hard. Otherwise, I'm doomed. Go. Go. Work hard. Okay. Hopefully, I'll fix it. At least going to work won't be much of a hindrance to us anymore because we don't have to go to school anymore. That'll be good. What are you crying about? Calm down. Oops. Yeah, this is the only gen where we don't have to max a career. That's a good point too. Like this, this generation is the only one where we don't have to max a career. So realistically, in terms of like needing a skill boost, there isn't really a skill boost that we need, need, or I mean a career boost because we have to like quit our job and do another one anyway. Like, um, I'm not necessarily sure that it's a good idea for us to focus on the thingy. Hug. Hug. Tell funny story. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, that's a smart idea, Christine, to like go to college uh, for the careers did. that bore you. Cause then it like, uh, you get a boost, makes it easier. Uh, no, we're playing on normal lifespan, not short, luckily. I think tomorrow I'll probably do some like relationship building. You know, that'll be a good idea. That'll be a good idea. Okay, we made a bunch of money. And we're having a baby. Also, I fell out of range to earn the responsible trait. That's rude. I'll have to fix that. <laughs> I will have to fix that. Here, come use the bathroom, take a shower. Oh. Leave work early. Are you home? Maybe you will be in a second. Oh, you are, but it's like glitched. Oh. Have baby at hospital. Send alone. Here we go. Yeah, Plum needs to be a doctor, and then they need to quit their job and become a uh, entertainer afterward. And they're supposed to have the uh, fast food career as a teen. All right, baby's name. We voted the last episode. We decided to call it Wisteria. Oh no! <laughs> I'm so so filled with regret. You have no idea how much I regret this right now. Like, like so much. I'm not gonna, uh... Oh, I'm gonna go to Manage Worlds too, because it's kind of glitched my sim. I'll do that first. And then come back. Oh boy. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, now we wait and we come back. Now at least Grave can max the parenting skill now. Yeah, exactly. That'll help. <laughs> That'll help. We do need to max the parenting skill. So that's a, a slight um, bonus, but unfortunately we have a baby to worry about now. So, at least we don't have infants yet, that's true. <laughs> that is true. We should probably try and get a move on as much as we can. Like, <laughs> see how far we can get through this series, or before this challenge, I mean, before the infant update comes out. Uh, so that way we don't have to worry about it as much. <laughs> you know what, let's, let's do that. Let's try and speed run Not So Berry a little bit. Yep. See how much further we can get along with it. 100 infant challenge? Oh, don't even. I thought about it. I'm not gonna lie. But it does scare me. <laughs> What's its name? Its name is Wisteria. We've been planning on naming it Wisteria since um, last stream because Wisteria means bad luck and purple. So, yay. <laughs> no, there's no date for the infant update. They haven't said, Hendy. Um, Okay, talk, rock, make a silly face. I'm trying to see if I can max this now, because you're not even tired. You can also probably go to sleep. You're asleep. Yeah, I think a lot of people are planning to do the baby challenge once we get infants. I think that's a common uh, plan. Once the infant comes, uh, infant update comes out, it's to, a lot of people want to try the, 100, 100 baby challenge again. <laughs> so, 
Uh, my, maybe myself included. Who knows? We'll see. We shall see. Alright, come on. I think this will be level 10 as soon as we get it there. And then we'll have finished the entire gray gen. Look at this. Come on. Come on. I'm really not asking for a lot right now. <laughs> there we go! Parenting level 10! Oh, that is a relief. Okay. Very, very nice. Host with the most. Host 50 bronze or better social events across all sims. Okay, well, I've not hosted a social event today, <laughs> so... Huh. Okay. <laughs> sure. Sure. All right, everyone go. Oh, I should save the game too. Oh, well, yay. Grave is done. We finished. All of Gen 4 is complete. Now we have to really, really work on Gen 5, <laughs> like so much. <laughs> Which is good, because we can really focus on it now. Which baby is this? Uh, an accident baby. Big mistake baby as a part of Gen 4 of the Not So Berry Challenge. Big, big mistake baby. <laughs> oh, is Raisin speaker on again? Oh, she has two. Well, that explains why she won't sleep ever, because it keeps turning itself on and I don't notice. I'm going back to bed. Come on. Come on. I cheated her need, because otherwise she won't sleep. Go to bed. All right. So, how are we doing? We got level 6 wellness, level 5 handiness. Um, I might see about... Let's... Oh, hello? Can I help you? What do you need? We need to think about this, because for the Not So Berry Challenge, Raisin has to get... I'll read it to you. Um, Raisin has to master dance and two other skills of your choosing and achieve at least level eight in six skills. So we have to do a lot of skill building, like a, a very ridiculous amount of skill building. Um, so we need to sort of prioritize. Obviously I haven't done a lot of work on the dancing skill, which I probably should have. Maybe I'll go to like a club or something today so we can use the dance floor. Um, but obviously cooking, uh, handiness, Things like we uh, wellness we've been working on. Maybe video gaming's a safe bet. Um, yeah, we're doing the Renaissance Sim aspiration too. So that's sort of why, because that's what the level eight and six skills thing is for. Um, this sort of like walks you through it, essentially. Um, dancing only has five levels. Yeah, that's good. The dancing one isn't going to be too bad, luckily. Uh, I'm going to cook something. Well, your sibling is cook something, cooking something. That's cute. Okay. Uh, let me get, maybe I'll make a fruit salad because that won't catch on fire. <laughs> That's probably a safe bet. Tell me, what is this? Is this on fire? Is that? I am so sick and tired of this. <laughs> You have no idea. I'm over it. I am over it. It won't even replace. Okay. Can you like super efficient baby care, please? Okay, how do you go into full parent mode? Perform numerous parenting interactions in succession to enter full parent mode. Okay. Well, you didn't finish cooking. Oh, so annoying. All right, make a fruit salad. Upgrade the stove. I mean, I could probably work on doing some stuff like that. I wonder, once we get a higher handiness skill, we can focus on it. Encourage recent behavior four plus times. Okay, I should be able to do that. Oh. Okay. Here, how about you mop this? And maybe you can try and uh, clean this. Come on, get to work so I can encourage your behavior. And then maybe you can work on your homework. 
and then maybe you can work on your project. Oh wait, did I have the wrong sim do it? Oh, okay, this is good. This is good. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's think about encouraging some recent behavior. Encourage doing homework. Encourage recent behavior, working on school project. Okay. This'll be good. That's one time. There's two times. Can I encourage you for anything? Um, maybe I can ask you to not shout forbidden words. That should probably work. Do you want to mop the floor? Can I, like, encourage you cleaning? Does that work? We'll find out. We'll find out. Okay. No. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so useful. Um, can you even do homework? No, because you graduated. Okay. Maybe you can come do your homework so I can encourage that. Come on. Come on, I'm begging you, please. Come on. Encourage, encourage doing homework. Come on. Come on. Sure. Yes. That's four times. Can you set the table? Stop mopping. Clean. Well, I am parenting level 10. Uh, so I don't need to like cheat the need or anything. I also wouldn't. What I'm trying to do is get into full parent mode by performing numerous parenting interactions in succession. So... That's what I'm- I'm hoping will happen. I just encourage so much recent behavior. Do you think if I, like, take care of the baby I could get there? <sighs> Maybe I should be, like, influencing them to do stuff. Influence to pee. Encourage setting the table. Ask to clean self off. Influence to make a group meal. Let's go try that. Do you have to click on yourself? What, to go into super parent mode? I don't think so. I think it like turns me into it. One, two. There we go, I'm in full parent mode, see? I don't know how. Oh look, full parent mode. All right, well, I fixed it. <laughs> we did it. We did it. All right, well, I haven't worked on any skills today, so that's annoying. Oh my God, <laughs> I can't. I actually can't deal with this. I can't deal with this. Oh. Baby, whose baby is that? It's Eric and Graves. We had an accident, baby. I actually can't, I can't talk about it. It's too upsetting. I'm having a really hard time right now. <sighs> okay. Well, do you want to use the bathroom? You're gonna have to go to work at five. You haven't worked on any skills today. And your sibling finished cooking your thing without me. I have to do it myself. Risky woohoo. Yeah, I had it on by accident. It wasn't intentional. So, <laughs> that's what's happening here. Okay. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't do this! I actually can't do this! I need to- I- <sighs> Can I cheat away their fear of fire? Cause I can't do this anymore. I- you can keep your fear of ghosts. Everybody else, we're no longer afraid of fire. I, like... This is becoming too much for me. I- I can only handle so much of this. We're not having fears of dead-end jobs, either. I'm sorry, but no. No, 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 no. <laughs> I just can't do it anymore. <laughs> I just can't do it. I'm cheating some needs, too. I'm allowed to. I'm allowed this. It's been a rough day. <sighs> I'm gonna save the game. Okay. Okay. This is fine. Five fires in less than an hour is too much. It's too much. 
I'm over it. I'm gonna like, I'm, I'm running out of money because of this. <laughs> I'm allowed to have some money back too. That's how I feel about this. Oh, and the parents aren't even home. Oh, maybe, okay, you have to go to work soon, but maybe you could take care of your sibling because maybe she could max the parenting skill. That seems like it, oh. Okay, you're gonna be late to work because you're going all the way around the house like this. Do you realize that? Do you realize that? Hope you do, okay. Well, one of you better take care of the baby then. She can't as a teen. Oh, I can't build the parenting skill as a teen. I guess that makes sense. That's not fair though. I'm not angry anymore either. I'm allowed to cheat that away. I'm allowed to be in a good mood. I don't understand why teens can't get the parenting skill. I think that's stupid. If I have to raise my sibling, I should be allowed the parenting skill. Well, I'll work on it later then. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Raspberry, uh, Dayman, and Cheap, and Tam, and Minnie, uh, Fang, and Nikki, thank you for the subs. Blonde Birdie, too, with the gifted subs. Docs, and Twitch, and Vanilla, and Maud, and Sphinx, thank you so much. Um, okay, maybe you could clean out the spoiled food. Use the bathroom. We didn't make any friends today. <gasps> Wait. Oh, Raisin didn't get to go. That's really sad. I'm... Oh well. <laughs> That's what we get for graduating early. That's fine. I'm not upset. It's fine. Well, we're going to prom. We are going to prom. Um... Maybe I could find someone while I'm here. Anybody look cute? Elliot? I like your costume. No, you can't dislike pop music. Marissa's really pretty. Do you wanna introduce yourself? Oh, we can get some food too while we're here. Didn't Raisin win prom queen before? I don't know. She might have. Why is there no food at prom? What's going on here? I'd have to look at my screenshots. Maybe we did win. I think Raisin did get to go to prom, and I think she won prom queen. So never mind. I think we're okay. No, Baby won prom queen too, my other legacy sim. But I think Raisin, I feel like I said it as the thumbnail of my VOD. No, look. Raisin had prom, and we're prom queen. So it's fine. All is well. <laughs> Never mind, I'm good. I don't mind anymore. Maybe I can get a little picture with my sibling. That would be cute. That would be cute. Take a picture. I don't want to be here. Prom's kind of boring me. I hate to say it, but... <laughs> Prom's kind of boring this year. Yes, Raisin liked the food. Thank you for asking. How are you doing? We're almost at level three. That's all I need to do, and then I can leave. Um, oh, I can bring Raisin here? Oh, that's fun. Is my boyfriend here? Maybe I'll invite Bran. Boyfriend's maybe a strong word, but... We can have a second prom. I think it's fine. <gasps> Bran! <gasps> Barney won prom jester! Oh, yay! Oh, good. Okay, that's my um bear costume sim. Okay, heartfelt compliment, bright and day. Um, maybe I'll embrace. Well, I'm excited. I've got two winners in this family. Oh, you can't see my costume, my like little hat. That's sad. Okay, well, show off outfit. <laughs> um, compliment appearance. Just trying to like slowly see if I can get Bran to like me better. Raisin might want to change. Why? Raisin looks good. Gold pickup line. Mm, compliment appearance. 
This is going well. Oh, We're flirty. <gasps> first kiss, first kiss at prom! Wait, kiss, 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 kiss. No! His name is Bran, yeah. My name is Bra Raisin. I don't even think I saw my kiss. That's so annoying. The timing of that was terrible, it was ruined. Oh well, I'll just go home. <laughs> Things are not going that well here. Um, I'm gonna bring the whole family back home. Hopefully we don't have to go into work tomorrow because I would like to try and, and date and then um, also go to a nightclub tomorrow so I can build the dancing skill. That's also important to me. We have a lot of skills to work on. <laughs> a lot of skills to work on. Maybe we could work on um, like the, the photography skill or something because that would be an easy way for us to like max a skill because it's like a low level skill. It's only five levels. So it's a bit easier than any of the other skill options. <laughs> oh, everyone's miserable. So that's no fun, but that's okay. We'll deal with it later. All to bed. I want a nice peaceful evening. Should do bowling. Oh, we can get into bowling. That could be fun. That's an idea. We have to master dance and two other skills. So we could do like dance, photography. The thing is, we'll probably end up like maxing the cooking skill or something just like by default, you know? Cause that one's an easy one. Cause we're gonna do a lot of cooking. So I'm not really that worried about like finding other skills that we can try and max. Oh, is the thermostat set to the wrong temperature? Oh yeah, it's set to cold. I always forget when the seasons change and I don't pay attention to fix it. But yeah, I think photography will be a good one for us to work on tomorrow. I'll definitely do some of that. Also like the handiness skill, look, I'll come fix this right now. No, there's a ghost who's fixing it, so I can't. So never mind. <laughs> oh no. Consider making the next house a tiny home to help with skill gain. Well, that's definitely an idea. I, I did consider having my sim, so, so for this generation, we have to move out. Um, we have to live in at least three different worlds over the course of our life. So I was thinking about maybe having her live briefly in like an apartment or something, but I guess we're gonna have to do that with gen six. So maybe I shouldn't, and maybe we could have her live in a tiny house briefly as a young adult. And then, and then we could leave the baby here and not have to take care of it while like Eric and uh, Grave aren't dead yet. Um, and then we'll come back and live in this house with the family and like, but we'll build a new one elsewhere. You know, we'll like leave them here for a bit, move out briefly and then move everyone back together with the graves and stuff um, into a new house. I feel like that could be a good idea. Maybe we will live in a tiny house first. Who's the baby? <sighs> Eric and Grave had an accident baby. I'm actually not prepared to talk about it. it it's too soon. Grave mistake. <laughs> but we had an accident baby. That's who the baby is. So. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. I'm good. Totally good and fine. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. <laughs> okay, how are we all doing? No one is ready to wake up yet, annoyingly. Maybe I'll have my Sim cook something this morning. I'll give the baby a real room soon enough, but I'm not ready to have to do that yet, so. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it once the baby has, like, maybe when they're a toddler. I'll do it. Oh, here we go. Speaking of baby, it's crying. Super efficient baby care, here we go. Easy, okay. That's useful, that, that ability, isn't it? <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay, everything's fine. You could probably wake up and start cooking now. Let's go do it, come on. I believe in you. The title of the VOD should be, I made a grave mistake. Oh, 
<laughs> probably should be. That would be funny. Okay, so I think after I take care of my needs and like eat and stuff this morning, I'm probably gonna go to a nightclub uh, with the intention of working on my dancing skill. I feel like that would be a good use of our time to, co to go try and get the dancing skill up a little bit higher. Um, maybe I'll also... Let's take some selfies or something while we're here. Build the photography skill, right? I don't know. I'm just trying to think of some ideas. Oh, great. With your smelly dad. Is it broken? I think it's broken. Never mind. Don't take a selfie anymore. Just go to the bathroom. Oh, I'm stressed. <laughs> Sunday morning is a great time to go to a nightclub. I agree. Here, shower too. Shower, shower. Why are you washing your hands in there? Oh my god, Sims are so annoying. <laughs> Joe's Crossing, Sid, Emmy, Nerdy, and Neve, and Aaron. Thank you for the subs. All right, let's go. Try the medium skill? That's an idea, but I don't know if we'll need to because we have so many other skills that we're like already half working on. I don't know if we'll need to do the medium skill, but we'll we'll see as we're leveling up. Um, all right, let's go. I'll bring Bran and we'll try and dance together. It'll be kind of cute. Which gen do you think we'll deal with infants for the first time? I don't know. I'm trying to speed run a little bit now because I feel like once infants come out, I'd like to do something else. So I want to get through as much of Not So Berry as we can, but we probably won't finish it. We're only halfway. <laughs> So, we don't have the savant trait yet, no. We don't have that many points yet. Um, heartfelt compliment, perhaps? All right, let's go. Shall we... Music must be playing nearby. Was there no music playing in here? I realize it is like 9 a.m., but really? <laughs> Do I have to play it like stereo, turn on, I don't care, pop music? There we go. Let's come dance. Annoying. Okay, well, here we go. What is Savant? Savant is a, a reward trait that makes you build your skills faster. It's kind of useful. All right, speaking of, I intend to dance all day. I'm like super not kidding. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna, um, wait, why can't I, do you wanna, come on, dance together again, sorry. Keep it up. Are we building relationship from this? I think so. Raisin is a teen, yeah. We're not that old yet. We still have a while of being a teen actually, 11 days. You mean you don't go to nightclubs at 9 a.m.? You know, I'm gonna be honest. I don't go to nightclubs. <laughs> just, just in general. Uh, but definitely not at 9 a.m. <laughs> no, I'm not really one to um, get out much. So. <laughs> yeah, she graduated early. So our life's a little bit easier now. Because um, we don't have to go to school which helps. Okay, if we can get level three of this dance skill today, that would be great. Or honestly, maybe I'll just try and like raise it for as long as I can. How did you graduate early? Uh, if you've got high school years and if your sim, um, if your sim gets an A, it gives them the option to graduate early. What can you tell us about the upcoming baby update? Marley, my friend, Nothing that we haven't already discussed or that isn't already public knowledge. I don't have any like insider info or any insider scoop, unfortunately. Um, it, the baby update, all we know is that it's coming at some point in early 2023. I've made videos kind of talking about it on YouTube if you're curious and like predicting and stuff, but. Also, hey, Miss Lollipop, welcome in. It's good to see you. I'd show you my graves, but I'm currently um, dancing. My sim's been at the nightclub dancing since 9 a.m. <laughs> Trying to max the dancing skill, so. Really exciting content that's been taking place here today. We're level three now. Excellent stuff. <laughs> just, just excellent stuff. But thank you for the raid, it's good to see you. 
Uh, and Emmy and Dana and Unstable and T and Finch and Deck and Sabrina, thank you all for the resubs, by the way. Okay. Yeah, we're still just going. Just dancing our little heart out, apparently. Are we bored? No way you're bored. I probably could go home now. <laughs> we were here for like 11 hours. It's, it's only fair if we let her leave, I think. <laughs> she can go back. <laughs> All right. And we return. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, winter meow in place. Thank you for the resubs too. What number gen is this? This is kind of gen 5, actually. I probably should change the title to be the... Plum gen, gen five, because we sort of finished the gray gen and we're working on gen five now. Um, yeah, I know that she can go to university as a teen, Matt, but we decided that it wasn't going to be very useful for our purposes. We thought it might be kind of a waste of time to go to university as a teen for this generation. We wouldn't really benefit from it, so we don't want to do that. Um, I'm going to make a garden salad, because hopefully I won't catch fire when doing it. <laughs> I've had enough fires today, I'm over it. I'm over it. All right, I'm cooking. Maybe after I eat, I could- no, I was gonna say I could do some yoga, but I probably shouldn't. Oh, Grave got a raise. That's pretty good. Okay. Dandy, thank you for the 52 months. Oh my goodness. All right, how are we doing skill-wise? Cooking level four, dancing three, handsiness, logic. Oh, I'm working on it. We also need to finish reading these books. Which maybe I could work on today, too. <gasps> oh! Let's go to the chef branch. Exciting. Use bathroom. Go to sleep. Okay, 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 okay. Take a shower. Oh, don't take a shower in there. Take a shower in here. I'm stressed. <laughs> I'm really stressed. Okay, you go to sleep. Why are you not tired at all? Why are there petals everywhere? It's because there's so many ghosts here. Um, and so, because I have so many ghosts that died by drowning in like my shark pond, um, the ghosts that die of drowning, any sims that die of drowning, their ghost drips. So my house is very frequently haunted by ghosts that drip and they leave puddles behind. <laughs> so, not kidding actually about that. <laughs> that is a real fact. That's why there's puddles everywhere. Because there's a bunch of drippy ghosts. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. Where's the painting shell it got me? It's downstairs in my kitchen right now, Eli. Um. <laughs> I forgot to bring it up here to show you all, but it is downstairs in my kitchen at the moment, where I see it even more often, so. <laughs> Uh, it's a drawing. Oh, the cat's running away. I don't want to hear it. Don't say a word in my Twitch chat. I don't want to hear it. Um, Shella uh, drew me a picture of me and Stanley Humphrey. It's very cute. So, <laughs> somebody was spamming about it, so I felt like I should answer their question. <laughs> Whenever people are spamming about things like that, I always get nervous that they're trying to, like, catch me out on something. It's like, why have they asked, like, so many times? Are you trying to, like... I don't know, but they're probably just asking because they're curious. But I, I have such a like distrust of Twitch chat because I've been burned one too many times by, by strangers. I always am like, there's no tea. It's just in my kitchen. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, okay, all my sims to bed, please. Everyone to bed. Oh, what is she doing? She went behind the chair. Oh, great. <laughs> Uh, sometimes that same question because they might have missed it. Yeah, Mighty, this is the thing, right? There's kind of a line that you have to walk with spamming on, in Twitch chat. Um, because, like, it, it's one thing if you have a question and you want it answered. It's another thing when you ask it, like, ten times. You know, like, that. at that point, it's too much. <laughs> you know? Like, at that point, I'm ignoring you on purpose, probably. Like, if you've asked it so many times and the mods keep deleting it, like, I've probably seen it and I'm just, like, annoyed that you're spamming. That usually happens when it's, like, a paragraph, though. And it's, like, real spam. Serious spam. Um, to avoid that, 
if I miss your question and you don't want to like keep asking it over and over again, maybe if you type in between, um, and then try again when I'm like looking at chat or something, because then I, I won't take it as like people just spamming and copy pasting the same paragraph over and over again, which is usually what happens. Um, so <laughs> I don't know if the cat cam is possible. Like she's back again. Also, if it's if it's a question that's like answerable by a mod, a lot of times it, it is. Um, you can always ask a mod in chat or look out for if the mods answered it already, because most of the time when that's happening, the mods did answer it already. Um, and, and then they just keep copying and pasting it over and over again. <laughs> and it's quite disruptive in the chat when it's like a, a you know, long message. So anyway, it's, it's not usually a, a ban worthy thing, but like it's, it's generally kind to not, <laughs> you know, copy paste <laughs> over and over again. So, um, okay, anyway, everyone sleep, please. Save game, save game. Mm -hmm. Is that a ghost cat? Yeah, I've got, this is the 15th generation of this family, Emily, so we've had a lot of pets over the years. <laughs> um, but, okay, anyway. Anyway, all asleep, everyone asleep. You're gonna be awake soon, so that's good. Maybe you could come and like, oh, you know what you could come and do? <laughs> you could come and uh, post on how, I always forget where it is, social alert about missing pet. Um, post alert about missing pet, thank you. Mm, and then maybe you could like channel surf. Oh, a ghost is cooking. If you catch that on fire, I will cry. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! This is like the eighth fire today! I'm- I actually- I can't. I- I might need to leave. I don't know how much more of this I can take. I just like spoke that into existence and I'm not- I- My sim's on fire! You too? Wait. <sighs> Fine, extinguish self. I don't want to extinguish the firefighter. Oh, man. That would have been fun. Okay, well, I have to remove the fears of fire again, because that just makes it worse. So, one second. Okay. I'm over it. <laughs> the firefighter or the fires today have just been too much. I don't know how much more of this I can take. I'm gonna come do some yoga. Oh, I'm gonna freeze doing this. Maybe if I'm by the fire, I won't. We'll have to see. We will have to see. <laughs> Sophie, Alex, July, Kitten, and Star, and Marshmallow, and Unicorn, and Clayton, and Bex, thank you for the subs. Oh. Send all students alone, that's fine. I don't need to take care or go to school with you guys. Would you like to change the baby's dirty diaper? Oh, actually, don't do that. You know what you should do instead? Is super efficient baby care. Okay, I'm trying to max this skill. Because the sooner we max this, the better we are. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I just... <laughs> Someone asked if there was any funny ban appeals, and so I, I checked, uh, because there was one new one. This person got banned for saying, I feel like Lil Simsy looks like Squidward. And then they said, I am genuinely so sorry for coming across offensive. I am just really over the top and excited when I watch Kayla's stream, and I am always open to expressing how I feel. What? How you feel is that I look like Squidward? What is that? <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my god. I get I get so many nose comments like making fun of my nose. It's on a daily basis. I assume the Squidward one is related to that. Um but <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> oh, okay, well, <laughs> Twitch 
chat's so funny. I'll deal with that one later. That's really funny. That kind of made my day, to be honest. <laughs> it's really easy to not tell someone they look like Squidward. It is a funny insult, though. I will say that. If you're gonna insult somebody somehow, I feel like Squidward's a good one. You know what I mean? Okay, are you done? React to first snow? Oh, cute! You're excited about it snowing. All right, take a shower. I might see if I can have her do some reading, because she has to finish reading three books um, for us to finish the aspiration. So I might do that today, too. I like that. I like that. Anyway, I guess general life advice is to not make comments about the streamer's appearance. <laughs> Typically, I don't think they'll uh, react well to it, so... <laughs> I thought I had my sim shower. I'm cheating it. I got called Squidward. I'm allowed to cheat my sims needs. That's how it works. Oh, no, I have not fed the sharks lately. Oh, looks like they have fed them though. So we should be fine. <laughs> oh, anyway. Someone once told you you look like if a rat and a naked mole rat had a baby? That's mean. I'm sorry you got told that. <laughs> That's a mean thing to say. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I too have been uh, told a lot of wild things. Um, it does hurt. So it, I will say, I think that I've become a little bit desensitized to stuff like that. Like it, it does get a little bit easier the more, uh, this maybe is not helpful, but the more you have to hear it, the easier it is to get told you look like Squidward. Um, but <laughs> when I was younger, when people would post like hate comments about my nose and stuff, it used to really hurt my feelings. Um, but as I've gotten a little bit older, it sort of stopped uh, getting to me as much. I think my Sims already read that book, which is a good thing, right? Um, if it gets easier, then it's a win. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Yeah, you can invite over a classmate. Yeah, you can invite over- Oh, they're both inviting over classmates? Who'd you invite over? Here's Alfonso. And they also invited over Elliot, but I don't see Elliot yet. That's exciting. Do you want to say hi? Friendly introduction? Um, don't tease. Maybe ask about day. I don't know. I'm getting there. I think after Raisin finishes reading this book, we'll have finished this part of our aspiration. And then I might see about going, um, on a date. I sort of like that idea. Oh, maybe I'll finish the book and then repair the dishwasher and then go on a date. How about that? Yeah, I think that helps, Kai. I feel like as I've gotten older, just in general, I've gotten more, I guess, more secure in myself, which I think is very common. Um, but also, uh, I've I've gotten more used to people saying nasty things to me, so I don't know. I don't know. Who died? Oh, they're sad about the pet leaving, but the pet's back, so they shouldn't be sad anymore. I've decided to get rid of it. Here, do you want to come talk to the pet? Sure. But anyway, I suppose that part helps. I did it, I finished that part. Okay, I need to reach level three of any career, reach level four and four skills and become an adult, which I can do. I'm working on it. I am working on it. Um, so we have level five handiness, seven wellness, level four cooking. We're getting up there with dancing. Do you think I should go on a date to a nightclub again with Bran. I think I might do that. Maybe I'll ask him to be my boyfriend this time. Ask on date. Let's go see. That would be fun. Come on, Bran, we're going on a date. I have tonight off work, so. <laughs> Wait, did he say no? I think he said no. 
Oh. <laughs> also, Judy, I'm sorry, my mom deleted your message because we always delete any sort of like reference to age in chat because we're trying to avoid any minors saying they're a minor. Hope you understand. Um, so we have like a blanket no age chat rule. You didn't do anything wrong though. Uh, but I will say, I'm sorry that people are mean to you and like act like you're old for playing The Sims. That is one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. People of literally all ages play The Sims especially people around your age, because you grew up playing the game. So it is absurd to make fun of you for that. That's like so stupid. <laughs> uh, there's nothing wrong with being literally any age and playing The Sims, but like, of course, like, <laughs> everybody plays this game. It came out in 2001. Like, hello. Anyway, I'm sorry to treat you like that. They are dumb, but. Anyway, everyone plays this game. Literally everyone plays this game. <laughs> people of all ages play all games. There's so silly to make fun people for that sort of thing. Um, anyway, I know I like just basically brought it up, but please don't say your exact age in chat if that's okay, guys. Um, we again have that rule against age chat just to keep the minors safe from saying their age. Usually it is the older people that say their age, if I'm being honest. <laughs> but I'm really worried about the youngsters saying it, so we it's a general rule. Um, I hope that makes sense. But anyway. Anyway. Ooh. Wait, I could... Talk about latest party. And then maybe I'll go dance with him. There is a DJ today, so that's fun. You know, Papa, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say yes, I think. I don't know. Probably safe to just avoid the topic though. <laughs> I should probably just stop talking about it. <laughs> just to be safe, but, um. Okay. Oh, did you stop playing the music? Hang on. Stereo, turn on. There we go. Dance together again. I want to see if I can get to level four today. That would be good. Uh, Avery Sapphire, Bob Pancakes, thank you for the subs. Um, all right, come along. Come along. All right. I have to keep clicking on it again and again because she keeps stopping. <laughs> oh, all right, it's fine. We're building a lot of relationship with Bran from this, though, which is kind of nice. We're like best, best, best friends, so. That is kind of useful. Curfew is about to start. If you don't get home soon, then you'll be in trouble. Oh my god. I forgot that I said that. I, like, forget that she's a teen, because we graduated high school early. <laughs> so I'm like, how dare you tell me that I need to come home? What do you mean? <laughs> Okay, well. <laughs> oh, back home we go. Um, yeah, I'm really sorry that you guys have dealt with people trying to make fun of you for playing any- or doing anything. This is the thing, right? Like, it's so absurd to make fun of someone for doing something that makes them happy. Like, if you enjoy something, how are you gonna make someone fun of someone for enjoying something? It's just so, like, what a mean, like, ugly person thing to do. You must be so, so horrible <laughs> to make fun of someone's, like, hobbies and passions. Like, if people enjoy something, let them enjoy it. It's horrible. I, I feel like The Sims in general gets a lot of, like, weird flack from people. Not even, like, just for, for every capacity. Like, the, the, like, gamers are like, oh, it's not a real game. Like, shut up. I'll make fun of your games. Leave me alone. Anyway, but I'm sorry if you have to deal with that kind of thing. That sucks. Um, but anyway, people are weird and no fun. All right, I'm going to have my Sims go to sleep. Everyone in bed so I can have peace and quiet this evening, please. <laughs> I am begging you. Oh, Eric, you too? You get home late now. That sucks. Why isn't the baby aged up yet? How long are you going to be a baby for? Maybe I should age it up. Should I do that now? I'll age it up. I'm going to regret this. <gasps> you know what? Pause. Super efficient baby care first, and then I'll age it up. There's a baby? Yeah, I had an accident baby. 
Absolutely terrible. <laughs> All right, grow up. Grow up. Silly. Okay. Should I let you be blue? Maybe I will. Maybe I can make her all purple. Just really embrace the plum gen. And we can say she got the purple from her alien genes because her grandparent was an alien. So we could do that. We could do that. Perhaps. Her name is Wisteria. Um, I might make her purple. Oh, can we not be purple? Oh. Do you have to be an actual alien to be purple? Well, that's dumb. Mm. I'm upset by this, to be honest. Oh well. I guess we could always get some CC, but I don't know if... Is that like worth it? Maybe I'll just be gray, like she was born. That would be fine. No, the slider doesn't change it to be purplish. It just makes it like lighter. Can you make it? No, I don't think so. It just makes it lighter. We can just have this one she was born with. That's fine. That is fine. I can give her this. Oh, weird. Why did that change her eyebrows? <laughs> This will be fine. This is my little alien baby. All is well. Oh, cute! <laughs> oh my goodness. I really like that actually a lot. Alright, I'm just gonna give her some like, um... Any sort of purple stuff. I don't, like, look, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not that worried about her outfits. I hate to say it, but... <laughs> I'm really very not excited about having a toddler right now, <laughs> so. With a purple blush. We can't do blush now, but we could do it when she's older. So that'll be fine. This'll be fine for now. And then we can go uh, change her outfit, or her, her room, I mean. So. Let's try that. Let's try that. Oh, Christy. <laughs> oh, that is sad. Also, chat, um, just to bring it up, you might know, you might know Mrs. Tomato. Uh, you may have heard of Mary. I know some people think that Mary is a mod because of how often Mary gets brought up. Mary is in fact not a mod. Mary is a toddler, um, <laughs> who is the child of a mod, but it is Mary's birthday. So, <laughs> um, she's getting there. Almost a mod. <laughs> She's just about old enough. But it is Mary's birthday. So. Lynn, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ginger Snap, and Amna, thank you for the subs. Yeah, um, people one time also thought that Mary was Madison, or maybe Madison was Mary. Madison is also not a mod. Madison is Hope's girlfriend. Both of these people are very frequently brought up. Um. N not a mod. Not in Twitch chat. Completely unrelated. <laughs> but if you ever hear any M names and you're like, who is that? That's who. <laughs> That's who. Mods by association, you know. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna send all my sims to bed again because I got distracted. Oh, I need to put the toddler room together. Hang on. Turn on this light. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Okay. Uh, what shall we decorate? Colors, purple. Can I do something like really bright? <gasps> no, what did I put in my inventory? Why? Oh my God. 
You have no idea how annoying I find that. Okay, um, sorry. 11 items. What could that be? BB dot, oops, spelled that so wrong. I have my fingers on the wrong keys. Okay, BB dot move objects on. All right. Uh, purple. It's fine. All is well. What are on the shelves? Oh, that's my collection of Simi capsules. They're quite deadly. <laughs> Did I see that bow was listening to laundry list? Oh, I didn't see the laundry list. Did they post that like after I recorded the video today? Cause if so, that's so annoying. <laughs> Um, but let me decorate this room first and then we can talk. Uh, toddler stuff. Oh, that's so cute. There's a unicorn on the end of it. I do like that one though. That might match the room better. Uh, maybe I could do this humongous dollhouse cool very cool um maybe a little bit too big <laughs> this dollhouse <laughs> oh no okay i think uh, maybe this might be fine oh this room is terrible so much so much purple in like maybe a bad way. Do I have the tent? Yeah, I do, but do you think I should bother with it? It's so big. We could maybe put it outside. Um, maybe I could put it like somewhere out there for the toddler. I might put these elsewhere, I guess, so I can display them better and have them not be in the baby's room. <laughs> um, Okay, what else do we want? Maybe the baby could have... I don't know, I might just give them some regular toys. We could have like a cute little bear. Maybe this, maybe a duck. And maybe like these little guys. That seems cute to me. Maybe the kid could have... This is a bit tight for my liking, but that's okay. I can scoot it. The kid's gonna have a nightstand. I don't know, seems like fun. The kid can also have a dresser for all I care. Let me look at parenthood. Wait, parenthood, parenthood, this, okay. In pink. You don't have the same swatches? Oh, okay, it just looks different. <sighs> I was gonna say, you cannot be serious right now. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> I was about to get really upset. It's fine, okay, anything else purple that's cute and like maybe decorative, like that? Maybe the kid can have this. The kid can have this. Look, I don't love this room. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not actually putting that much effort into it right now. But, oh, a nightlight could be cute. Hang on. Mm, I should look at the wall lights instead. Lighting, wall lights. Where is it? Oh, here we go. That's cute. See? And then... I feel like this could be fine for now. I don't want to spend too much money because I'm, I'm a little worried about bills. So... Oh, I need a toddler potty. Oh. Am I going to potty train it? really hard to say. 
just in case I'll get one. All right, <laughs> that'll do, that will do. Everyone to bed, including you, bedtime. At least the baby's on the first floor because that makes it a little bit easier for me like to not have to go up and down the stairs and stuff, you know? So that'll be useful. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Oh my goodness. Everyone in bed. Everyone in bed. Paige to myself. Colton Short. Jesse, thank you for the subs. Okay. All to bed. What are you doing? Go to bed. Go to bed. Yeah, first floor toddler bedrooms in The Sims is very helpful. <laughs> so much easier that way. So, so, so much easier that way. Okay. Okay. Uh, how many toddlers can you potty train challenge? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Did I just save? I don't remember. I'm gonna do it again just in case. I'm gonna do it again just in case. Sue Paige, thank you for the subs. Okay. Making the houses one level because they keep using the furthest sink. That's so annoying. Also, don't worry. I know the toilet's broken. Everything's always broken because the ghosts always break it. Sometimes the ghosts fix it though. Like, look. So, we'll see. Maybe they'll fix that one too. <laughs> um, all right. In the morning, I'm gonna have Raisin do a little bit of cooking. Uh, see if we can make... Maybe something more uh, complicated. Like what if we went all the way down to the bottom? Make spaghetti. Good morning. That sounds so, so complicated. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Sometimes the skill, uh, skill listings of the Sims recipes is so interesting. All right, keep sleeping. Life is good and calm right now, which is what I want. That's okay. All right. All right. <sighs> Hurry up. It's so slow because my house is haunted. Come on. Come on. Almost there. So close. <laughs> so close. Also, hopefully we'll get our uh, work up today. Because once we finish this, we can quit. We need to get level three in the career, though. So that is a goal of mine. All right, we're up. Let's cook. Get a move on. And then should we dance again? I don't know. <laughs> should we do some more dancing today, perhaps? All right, we'll see. We shall see. Skinny Legend, thank you for the seven month resub, by the way. Thank you so much. Send all students alone. Okay. Okay. Lifestyle gain. We're a people person. Okay. That's kind of fun. All right. Shall we dance? Should we yoga? Maybe I'll yoga. Honestly, I'm trying to max the yoga skill. Maybe I will do that wellness skill. Maybe I'll work on that now. The more we do it, the better we'll get. Keep it up. <sighs> so much to do. At least if we get level eight, I feel like level eight will be a useful, uh, useful option for us. And then we could probably stop. But as long as we get level eight, because we need to get level eight in like so many skills. <laughs> but level eight in this one will be useful. And then maybe I'll buy like a, honestly, what if we get like one of the school projects? Can she even do it if she's not in school anymore? Because she she's a, still a teen. Yeah, we can still do it. She's still a teen, but she graduated early. So we'll have to see. Freezing to death. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, and it caught on fire. Oh, you said you were cold. Okay. Everything's fine. Let's go. The fire's being put out. Let's take a bath. This is fine. 
<laughs> All right. All right. That is fixed. Oh, how's the toddler doing? Oops, I forgot about that. Oh, we need to feed the toddler. Hang on. That's, oh, we have like no food. Oh, maybe after she takes her bath, we could, um, we could try and do some cooking. That could be good. Did I miss the laundry list? Oh, I haven't looked at it, I guess. Uh, they must have posted it after I, um, after I recorded the video for today, which is annoying, I must say. Uh, but let's see what it says on the laundry list. Uh, I'm also gonna make, mm, what's at the bottom? How about a raspberry pie? Okay, the laundry list. This is uh, what they're working on fixing bug-wise for The Sims 4. Uh, the top list of the community concerns they're currently investigating and hoping to resolve in the next patch. Um, so the list of concerns is toddlers all look the same slash genetics broken. Didn't know about that. That's concerning. Okay. Well, they're working on it. Uh, <laughs> Sim receiving wants and fears when the toggle is disabled. Thankfully, uh, Sim still holding the fear of being afraid of the dark after being cured. Sims moving after the game is paused. Creepy. Glad they're fixing that. Workaholic moodlet constantly stuck. Uh, the alien face changing when aging up. Weird. Uh, a belted cardigan causing Sims to stretch to the side. Wedding story conversation topics for married Sims. I've noticed that. That's kind of annoying, so that's good. Uh, juice party does not count for the task throw three parties in the party aspiration. That's useful. Uh, adding, moving, deleting walls and wall patterns removes objects. Oh, thank you. Please fix it. It's so annoying. Thank you. Um, also, excessive smelling of surroundings, even when dirty. <laughs> uh, can't check replies for last postcard. Sims freeze to death in summer. That's no good. Endless return from daycare notifications. Cannot plan gold events slash holiday on Friday or Saturdays with teens and household. Uh, doctors can't greet coworkers. Sims can't use public bathroom stalls. And werewolves are unable to modify paint or change the fur and cast when they're in werewolf form. form. So these are some of the bugs that they're fixing for the next patch. Uh, they typically post these laundry lists occasionally uh, showing like, hey, kind of as like an acknowledgement of like, hey, I know this bug is really annoying and we are working on it. <laughs> uh, just as like, a, hey, don't worry, uh, it's, a, it's a work in progress. Why are, are you doing that? Put me down, put me down. Put me down. How do I reset? Reset. Put me down, put me down, put me down. Okay, here, I'll give it to my Sim so they can eat it, how, how about that? There we go. Where did the baby come from? It was an accident baby and it's very upsetting. That's where. All right. <sighs> anyway, a lot of those bugs are really annoying. So it's, it's uh, nice to see them like talking about it and working on a fix for them. All right, my Sim wants to dance. Maybe she could come like, Turn on the two music and then dance to it. How about that? See if we can build some skill until we have work. <laughs> hey there, I'm Pabs and Pokey. Thank you for the subs. How does something even happen in the first place? There's all kinds of random bugs in everything, in all games. Um, and these are just the ones they're working on fixing. They do seem kind of silly, I will say that, but it's it's not like uncommon for games to have like totally random seeming weird bugs, you know? Um, the Sims moving when the game is paused and the objects deleting is so annoying, like so annoying. So I really, really hope those get fixed. <laughs> All right. Fingers crossed we can get promoted today. I don't know if we will, but I'm really hoping we have a few hours. So can you take care of your needs? Why are you asleep now? And the wants and fears. The wants and fears are like unbearable as well. So, okay. Okay. Oops. Eggs and toast. How about you do some cooking? Because we're running low on food. And maybe you could just play with your dolls. That could be cute. All right. All is well. How are you doing? 
Serve the burger. Uh-oh, I should have read it. Hopefully I get promoted. We might, we might actually, we have two hours. Oh, if we get promoted, we can quit. Please, 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 please. <laughs> Look at how close it is. Oh, thank you. Okay, there we go. Then we can like really skill build until we have to age up. Nine days. Jeez, we have nine days of doing nothing. I might age her up into a young adult early. Cause that's a long time. <laughs> Can mods see whispers we send them? Yeah. Um, I don't know who you whispered, but uh, there's a chance that they're not in the stream right now. Sometimes my mods get whispers when they're not even here. Um, so make sure you're whispering an active mod. You can see in the viewer list the mods that are active, that are actually in the stream. Um, and also someone that's like typing in chat is usually a safe bet. Um, but the mods can see your messages. Obviously just keeping in mind that like if they're not, um, if they're not actively here. <laughs> uh, they might not be here. Okay, I'm quitting my job because I, I did my three levels of the fast food career, which is very exciting. Uh, and now we're getting there with the aspiration, which is cool. Um, yeah, whispers work like a DM, so. Um, but obviously Twitch whispers are... Um, <laughs> Twitch whispers are really quite something in the sense that they're kind of like counterintuitive and not as, you know, actively checked, um, as, uh, like a regular DM might be. Um, also something really important to note, um, is that if you are, uh, like, I don't know, maybe if you want to like turn off whispers, dare I say, you probably should. <laughs> um, uh, turning off whispers is, is a safe bet to not get weird DMs from strangers and stuff. You can set it so that only people that you follow can DM you. Um, and, um, and that way you don't get like weird DMs. Sometimes there's like weird, um, weird like crypto spam stuff that you get. Um, which is kind of annoying, <laughs> so um, that that is very unpleasant. But um, yeah, highly recommend you turn off your whispers um, from strangers because you don't need these people to be able to talk to message you. Um, okay. Anyway. Anyway. Um, okay. One second. Okay. 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 Put this away. I'll probably send everyone to bed then. And then, and then, what was I doing? Oh, I'm so distracted. I hate having this many Sims. I hate having this many Sims. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Everyone to bed. Everything's fine. Everyone to bed. Oh, I regret having this extra kid so much right now. Like, so much. Okay. So, did you play Dreamlight Valley? Uh, yes, absolutely. 100% you should play Dreamlight Valley. <laughs> I'm gonna play Dreamlight Valley tomorrow on stream, I think. Um, tomorrow morning. I usually stream in the morning in the mornings on Wednesdays. Um, so I was thinking about playing Dreamlight Valley tomorrow. Uh, well, that's what I put in the schedule at least, so. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. Let's see. You in bed, this is the one thing. Um, about like my sim having that trait so that they don't have to sleep that much. It like makes it hard for me in the sense that they're always awake <laughs> and I don't want to have to be dealing with them this much. Like it was useful when I was trying to skill build because then they could sleep all night. Um, but, <laughs> or they could like work all night, I mean. But now that like I finished this, uh, this sim stuff, it's like annoying that they're always awake. You know what I mean? But. Will there be a Fall Guys stream soon? Maybe. I think we're going to play games with Steve at some point this week. Um, I think maybe on Saturday night. Um, okay. All right. All right. Back in bed. Is there music playing in here? Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Uh, all right. Oops. Sorry. One second, everyone. Um, ooh, oh, my goodness. It won't send. Um, and, all right, 
Yeah, Steve in Spawn. My friend Steve, you guys might remember Steve. Steve in Spawn is a good friend of mine. We've been playing a lot of games together recently. A lot of Fall Guys specifically. Um, but <laughs> um, we, we've we been playing a bunch recently and it's been a couple weeks because we've been so busy recently. Um, it was like Steve was sick and then Dan's family was in town so we couldn't play. Um, but we think we're gonna play this weekend, so. What's the deal with the bear in the house in the household? Oh, that's my Sim Barney. There's not a dinosaur costume, so I wear a bear costume instead. Um, okay. Okay. Oh my god. There's a puddle here. This is the thing about this game. There's so much- the ghosts, like, sometimes it's funny, and other times it's just too much. <laughs> like, we have so many ghosts in this household. Oh, and they're- they're just here dripping everywhere all the time. Oh, the next Among Us stream? It's gonna be on Friday Moonlight. We're gonna play Among Us on Friday. Um, that is the plan. Um, so we're gonna play Among Us with a bunch of our Sims friends in a couple days. Friday the 13th. What pack adds maids? Oh, they're not from a pack. The maids are a base game thing that you can hire. Butlers came with luxury, uh, vintage glamour. Sorry. <laughs> luxury vintage glamour. The butlers came with vintage glamour, but the maids are base game. So you don't need a- you don't need a pack or anything for that one. Um, okay. Okay. You wake up. I do have one hired, but, um, it's not enough because <laughs> we have so many puddles. <laughs> Can you get rid of the ghosts? Yeah, but I like them. It is, I have sort of a collection going. I realize that I'm complaining about it, but it, deep down I do enjoy it. So. I know I'm saying some very conflicting things right now, but... <laughs> um... <sighs> it's just fun. Sort of a collection? Yeah, it's a, it's a large collection. How many do I have? I've got a command that says... 83. I have 83. So... <laughs> anyway... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, there's a ghost taking a mud bath? That's... <sighs> you know... Are you gonna clean the tub? Oh, it's not dirty. Okay, that's fine. I was gonna say, if you leave this tub dirty, I'll be very angry with you. But it seems to be clean, so we should be okay. In like a scuba mask as well. <laughs> Why? Why, 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 why? Okay, let's come get some leftovers. How about that? Are all my graves past generations? You know, we have um, sort of a, a large variety of things at the moment. Oh, my sim's stuck again. Ugh. It's, the graves are mostly past generations with the addition of like some random sims because like you know when you've been playing the sims for a long time and like the whole town gets old and starts dying <laughs> off um uh, we've been through a lot of that because we're on like gen 15. so you know when you're like at the bar and some random old sim just dies i usually bring their grave home with me and then like put it in my front yard <laughs> So it's like a lot of my sims, mostly my sims, with the addition of like some random sims that I've kept in my front yard. <laughs> so, I don't know. I realize it sounds very silly, but that's that's the situation. So, you're on Gen 8 now and thinking of making a graveyard? You should! It's actually really fun. When you have a, like a really long family of sims, it's genuinely really fun to have like that many. So, um, if there'll be a new death in the new pack, I hope so. Jody, my favorite part, literally, of any Sims pack is always if they add a new death. Is that wrong for me to say? It's how I feel, though. I love when they add new deaths. I love when they add new deaths. Um, okay. Okay. Uh... Are you gonna eat? So you don't get taken away? I love death. <laughs> Quotes with Lil Simsy. <laughs> I am making myself sound bad. Um, that's true, I suppose. But it's how I feel. 
death from dentist oh my gosh did i see the name menu they use the word family and advertising the pack oh my gosh i don't think i noticed that let me go check let's go look at the main menu um nancy Bruna, and catsco thank you for the resubs by the way thank you so much why is that sim in a bear costume oh because they're a dinosaur it's it's barney the dinosaur jess so <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> um, coming soon, a huge base game update, two kits, and an expansion will join the family. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. That's so fun. Um, all right, back we go, back we go. Uh, Tordina, my friend, we are not going to be playing the new Harry Potter game, that Hogwarts Legacy game on stream. Uh, I don't have any desire to support J.K. Rowling or the Harry Potter franchise in any way, shape, or form. Um, we've talked about this a lot uh, on stream the past couple weeks, especially now that it's got, bring, gets, it gets bring up, brought up more. Oh my god, I can't talk. It gets brought up more now that the game is coming out soon. Um, but for a few reasons, obviously J.K. Rowling sucks. Uh, she's a horrible transphobe, has a long history of that. Um, she makes money off the game. I don't want to support her financially in or f support her at all. So um, we don't want to play it. But also the game itself has a sort of problematic storyline. The whole thing, from my understanding, is about like a, an uprising of the goblins against the wizards. Um, but they're like an oppressed group. And they're uprising, but like somehow in the story, they're the villains for like uprising against their oppressors. It's like very unbelievable. Like the whole thing is just not good. It's just not good. So I don't have any desire to support that or play that in any way. So um, I won't, <laughs> uh, but that's, that's why. I hope that makes sense. Um, but anyway, <sighs> okay. You know, I, I don't really even agree with that either, Dori. I, like, I, I can't uh, imagine any good outcome coming from streaming the game. Like, I understand what they're coming from, maybe, but, like, I, I would never stream the game because streaming the game is, like, endorsing it. For one, I don't want to buy it, right? But, like, streaming the game is, like, endorsing it. It's, like, advertising it, right? Um, and I do not wish to do that, so I, I would not play that game. Uh, and I don't recommend that you do either, in fact, <laughs> but... Um, anyway, you can, you can do some research on that one, um, if you would like to. Uh, it's, the game is called the Hogwarts Legacy. I'm sure many of you probably already heard about it, but I, I don't wish to support it in any way, shape, or form, so. Um, anyway. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's Winterfest! I'm gonna put some decorations up. <laughs> oh, I love how those icicles look on that house! That's actually so cute. That looks really good. On the eaves. That's so pretty. Um, that is so, so, so pretty. Um, okay, okay. Oh, I thought the kid was freezing. I was like, oh no. No, they're just blue. Sorry, false alarm. <laughs> false alarm, all is well. The kid's just blue. <laughs> they're not freezing. They're just blue. Okay, what skill should we work on next? Do you wanna work on logic? We can try and get level eight of logic. That could be a safe bet. Maybe I'll do that. Okay. Okay. Rafiki and Lady and Caddy, thank you for the subs, by the way. Um, that's a fun idea, Jess. I do have a toddler. That's that's actually true, Brew. The toddlers do look cute when they open gifts. Maybe we should get... Um, I don't know where to put the gifts. <laughs> There's no space for the gift box. Maybe I can move these into the inventory and then put the present pile like here. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. All right. Let's open the gifts now before I forget. Because I really enjoy this part. Everyone, please. The whole family. The whole family. We can get some screenshots of this too. It'll be cute. Come on. Open my gifts. True prodigy child's violin? Oh, she can't even play that yet. She's a baby. Whatever, I'll sell it. <laughs> Whatever, I'll sell it. That's fine. That feels kind of rude to like give the baby a toy that she can't play with. She like physically can't. <laughs> Readosaurus Rex kids poster. Okay. This is cute. 
Aww. You guys don't look very happy. What'd you get? Oh, golly gee! The Incendiator by Grill Mania. Wait. Oh, I think it's in my Sims inventory. Hang on. Yeah, look, a new grill. That's good, because my grill always gets burnt, <laughs> and it costs a bunch of money to replace it. So, there, I can sell that one and then get the new one. <laughs> the Sims just tweeted? What, again? Or, or do you mean, like, from earlier? Let's find out. Oh, just from earlier. Okay. <laughs> you got me excited. Yeah, they uh, posted a pretty cool teaser earlier. Upgrade parts. The slab lit. Oh, that's fun. I'll give that to Raisin. I'll give the upgrade parts to Raisin too, because Raisin's trying to like work on the handiness skill. Sorry, Raisin. Time to get to work. Do you think that Raisin can upgrade this at all? Or are we not talented enough yet? Coated exterior, a dirt resistant coating. Let's try that. That'll be good. The Schmapple coffee. All right. Sure. Sure. Handsiness level six. That's pretty good. What about after that? We could probably, oh, can't upgrade that again. Could probably upgrade this. Sturdy faucets, lowers the frequency of breaking. Auto soap dispenser, wash up faster. That's pretty good. Okay, need to buy upgrade parts. Uh, I might need to buy some more, but I also know that her skill might not be super high enough to do a lot of the fridge ones. Let's see if we can order a few more. Purchase. Oh, they need to get like a better um, UI for this. It's ugly. Oh, don't get any robot salvage parts. Maybe I'll buy like, how about that? Like a thousand simoleons worth of upgrade parts. Cause maybe I could, ooh, fuel cell. No longer requires power and will burn refillable fuel. Oh no, don't want that. Energy efficient device. Mm. What I really want is like the handiness or the level seven handiness ones. So we have to wait. We should level up soon, though. We should level up soon. What's your problem? Entering a phase? Raisin is going through a phase. She will pick up an instrument any chance she gets, yell often, and turn all radios up to 11. That sounds loud. <laughs> Okay. Oh, we have a better coffee maker now. So maybe I'll switch that. Okay. Okay. Um, what do I want to do? Mm, maybe, do you know what I'll do actually? How about this? Let's upgrade this sink to sturdy faucets. That seems like fun. Um, all right. Became good friends, that's good. That's good. What are the Sims pronouns? Okay, I'll walk you through and do a pronoun check. This is Eric, he uses he, him pronouns. Grave, he, him pronouns. Raisin, the future heir, she, her pronouns. Uh, this is aubergine, that means eggplant. <laughs> they use they, them pronouns. This is Barney, he, him pronouns. And Wisteria, she, her pronouns. Um, hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> I have a lot of weird sims and weird sim names, so <laughs> I know it's kind of confusing, but, <laughs> uh, but there's the pronoun check for you. Um, school starts tomorrow, oh no. Do you have to teach tomorrow, work tomorrow? That stinks. So like just starting tomorrow back after break, um, about the pet. Oh, my pet, this is Earl. Uh, she uses she, her pronouns. Okay, there we go. There we go. Wisteria, do you wanna go to bed? Uh, yes, sleep. That would make life easier. All right.
And then it's only five. <laughs> so maybe no one else has to go to bed yet. Oh, that's right. I was going to buy uh, music and I forgot. I think the cat needs to go to the vet. I have vet treats, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, Kitty Tunes Radio. I'm going to dance in the kitchen. Uh, turn on, how about blues music? Dance. Maybe you could give it to the cat. Cat. Wake up, Earl. We'll see if we actually need the vet treats or not. Uh, Wisteria was born today, and, uh, my sim got pregnant at the very end of last stream. It was sort of an accidental thing. No, sort of is the wrong word. It was an accidental thing. Um... We had a bit of a risky woohoo incident where I forgot that I had the risky woohoo setting up so high. <laughs> and, then, and then my sim got pregnant and here we are. Um, so, yikes. All right, well, we're almost level five, which, well, not really, but I'll try and get there today. Uh, turn on, dance again. Get a move on, please. What setting was that? It was at like 20%, 25%, I forget. Kind of needed a kid, he needs parenting skill. Well, he can get the parenting skill from other things. He finished it now. But I was an anticipating like getting parenting skill from other stuff. Um, and then, you know, well, we got it from having a baby. <laughs> so maybe I'll do yoga next. We have to get level eight. I'm just trying to get as many skills as we can. <gasps> Santa! Hi! Cheerful introduction. Santa! Santa! Oh, it's not the cat who's peeing, Nick. It's because my house is like really mega haunted, like really haunted, and a lot of the ghosts drown, so they drip. That's why there's puddles everywhere. It's from the ghosts. Yeah, we have food for the cat. I probably should fill it again, but we do have food for the cat. The cat's just always upset. It's fine. I'm- I don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna ask for a present. Okay. No? You won't give me one? Oh, Santa's crying. No? You won't ask for a present? Okay, will you ask for a present? Can somebody get a present? Oh, I'm getting one. Okay, good. Can you ask for a present next? Friendly introduction. What'd I get? Oh, upgrade parts! Oh, that's actually really good! I need that. I'll give those all to my soon. <laughs> Uh, Raisa needs a bunch of upgrade parts, so that works out, I think. Come on, I'm gonna ask for another one. Please, as fast as you can. Literally, as fast as you can. Please, please, please. Ask for present. Ask for present. Ask for present. I'm getting one! Yay! She smells, like, so much. <laughs> What'd I get? Come on. Come on. Um. Okay. A Grand Plans chess table. Oh, that's pretty good. I was gonna try and work on the, um, the, the logic skill, although I'm probably gonna sell that one if I'm being honest. <laughs> okay, let's go back to bed. Um, let's go back to bed. Um. Or, well, I'm gonna shower first and then go back to bed. Curious about the family tree? Oh my gosh, I, I will show you. It is a nightmare. Let me get everyone to sleep first before I forget and then I'll show you the family tree. If I don't do it now, I'm gonna get distracted and then not put everyone to bed. <laughs> I need to make sure I'm like uh, keeping control of my plans here. Um, otherwise I will forget. Okay, now I can show you. The family tree is very, very long uh, because, oh, wrong sim. The family tree is very, very long because we're on technically like gen 15. Oh, I'm lost. Um, technically like gen 15 because um, 
we played through 10 generations of like a regular legacy. And then after that, I did Not So Berry. So we're on the 15th generation. This is the whole family tree in its entirety. Oh, Storm had another baby, Ainsley. That's cool. I've seen the other three, I think, but I hadn't seen that one. But yeah, we have a very long family tree. <laughs> We've been playing this one for a while. Um, so, all right, all right. Uh, get left over. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, I was gonna sleep. Do you see what I mean? I got distracted. I almost forgot. Oh, it's a good thing I had them go to sleep before I showed you that because I totally lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, Summer, we're gonna play Sims 3 on Saturday. I was thinking about starting a new Sims 3 Legacy Challenge on Saturday. So that's probably the plan. Uh, I'm quite excited about it. Also, Melina and Victorian and Maddie and Charles and Caitlin, thank you for the subs. Okay, do it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, and I'm looking forward to it. Why is Santa watching you sleep? He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. When you put it in like this context, it really is like maybe too real. Buddy, I love you, but... You done? Oh, maybe we're done. <gasps> we're done! Okay, bye! Thank you! <laughs> Melina, Victoria, and Maddie, thank you for the subs again. Did I say that already? I don't know. I feel so lost today. It has been a long day. <laughs> All right. I think I just saved like three times as well. Um, but when did I start playing The Sims? Um, I started playing The Sims in The Sims 3 era. Uh, I was about like nine or 10 years old when I started playing The Sims. I am currently 23, <laughs> so it's been a while. I've been playing The Sims for a while. Oh God, that's upsetting to think about. Um, but yeah, I, that's when I started playing The Sims. Uh, started playing The Sims today about two hours and 20 minutes ago. <laughs> but in real life, a while ago. Uh, Angel, thank you for the gifted subs, by the way. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. I meant to have you go to sleep and then I forgot. Come along. You're in your Taylor Swift era right now? I'm always in my Taylor Swift era. <laughs> <laughs> I never stopped. I have Taylor Swift concert tickets and I am extremely excited. Like extremely excited. I actually cannot wait. So that'll be very fun. <laughs> that will be very, very, very fun. But anyway, yours is so soon. I know mine's in April. It's very soon. It's like actually starting incredibly soon. So not to brag, but uh, it's coming up fast and I'm really looking forward to it. So <laughs> do I ever get bored while playing The Sims for a long time? You know, I'm. people ask me this a lot, okay? And I, I feel like they're asking because most people, like the average person, uh, you know, does. <laughs> but the, the thing about me is, I have perhaps an unhealthy obsession with The Sims, and I always have. So in the way that maybe the average person goes through phases of playing a game, I don't really have that with The Sims. It, um, sort of my life revolves around this game. And that's because I do it for a job, partially, but like, it did even before I was making money making Sims YouTube videos. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah. Uh, does that answer your question? <laughs> okay, the cat is eating my food and I can't put it away. Can you stop? Thank you. Thank you. All right, you're awake. Taking a bath. That's pretty good. But... Anyway, <laughs> I like this game. Do I ever get tired of a different game? I don't know if, 
if so much as I get tired of other games. I think that generally what happens with how I play games is you kind of go through waves of like really being obsessed with it, at least with me. I go through waves of like being really into something and then it's not that I tire of it, it's that something else sort of like interests me and I get really into that and then I maybe come back to the other thing, you know? So like that's more how it works. I don't know if I necessarily get bored of playing games as much as I like find one I prefer and then play that one kind of obsessively or whatever, you know? Kind of like how I've been playing a lot of obsessive Dreamlight Valley recently. <laughs> um, that's my that's my big one. So, but we're gonna play it tomorrow, Reese. I still have a couple of the quests for Toy Story stuff to do tomorrow. There are too many games. Yeah, <laughs> there's so many games that I want to play and uh, not enough time. I think we all relate to that one though. All right. Will you please get some leftovers? Oh, you got interrupted, sorry. Yes, I've been meaning to play Spiritfarer for so long. Uh, I've been meaning to stream it. Maybe, do you know what? I need to just put that on my stream schedule and then stick to it. I'm gonna put it on my stream schedule in a couple weeks and we will just, we will play Spiritfarer because I've been meaning to play for so long. Can I be free? Oh yeah, Hope, tell me when you're not busy next week or the week after, we'll um, plan it together. <laughs> but I've been meaning to play Spirit of Fear for so long. I watched my friend Spring Sims play it a bunch on stream and I got really into it and then Hope bought me the game. So I, um, I've been meaning to play it on stream. I feel like I would really enjoy it, so. The day you said is fine. Hope immediately went to, Hope has access to my upload schedule because she does my closed captions. <laughs> so she, she went and checked that fast. <laughs> That's really funny. Um, <laughs> she was on that spreadsheet. She was ready. <laughs> can your birthday be in the schedule? Yeah, I hope you can put your birthday in the schedule. That's fine. I think she's looking at how I have my family's birthdays in the schedule, and she's like, what about me? <laughs> no, you want me to do it? Okay. I will add it. I will add it. I did just close this the spreadsheet, though, so I don't know if I can easily do it right now. I gotta stop adding to my personal calendar when I'm streaming. <laughs> anyway. All right, let's see if we can set all this up. Come along. Any plans for Sims Medieval anytime soon? I probably should uh, do a Sims Medieval stream soon. I would enjoy that. I love Sims Medieval. Fell out of range to earn the emotional control trait? Don't do that. Last year, and I don't mean to expose you, but you had everyone's birthdays except Dan's. You had your own and not Dan's. Well, it's not that, it's just, I don't know. I just didn't write it on the upload schedule. I know what Dan's birthday is. <laughs> it's okay, think about it like this, right? The, so Dan, his birthday, if we were to do something for it, I wouldn't necessarily need to like, you know, think about it as much because it would already be on my mind. Whereas like, you know, with my brother's birthday, for example, I need to make sure I write that one down because maybe I would need to like stream early that day if we're going to dinner or something. But with Dan, it's like, I'll probably, we'll probably have like bigger plans or like, it'll be more on the mind, less as, I don't know. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. Last year for Dan's birthday, we stayed at a Disney hotel. So maybe I didn't have Dan's birthday written down, but I probably had like the Disney hotel dates written down, which is the same thing. Hope, why are you exposing me? <laughs> we stayed at a Disney hotel that night though, or the, the night before at least. So I had that written down and that's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. The stream is scary. <laughs> you can't trust these people. Your friends are like exposing you left and right. Also, oh my god. Yeah, 
last year, uh, high school years came out on Dan's birthday. Well, that's why. Because it was, it was, I'm sorry, high school year, no. That's why. It was because, it was because a Sims pack came out on Dan's birthday. So we had priorities. More important things, dare I say, specifically for my upload schedule. My upload schedule must prioritize the high school pack over Dan. Sorry, but that's what an upload schedule is for. That's why it wasn't written down. Thank you very much, Goose Kingdom. We cracked the code. <laughs> it probably was written down and then I had to cover it up with high school year's release date. <laughs> Wombo <-C>? uh -huh. <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay. Okay. And... Oh, come repair these. This is great. You can build so much skill from that. Perfect. Does that mean the expansion is coming out on Dan's birthday? What, this year? I think that this expansion pack will be sooner than that, to be honest. Oh, no! My sharks! Oh, I killed them. That's actually devastating. Go back, put them back. I want my sharks back. Yeah, that's true. Wedding stories came out on Hope's birthday last year. <laughs> that was a rough day. <laughs> so, yikes. Um. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to originally, but then they had to push it. Yikes. <laughs> anyway, um, so why do they keep releasing things on our birthdays? That's true. What day is my birthday this year? Let me look at like a calendar. August 2023 calendar. Uh, the 14th is a Monday, so they probably won't release anything that day. Dang it. That's sad. Next year though, maybe. <laughs> Next year, we got a chance. <laughs> Aisley, thanks for the 30 months, by the way. Maybe I'll get a kit or something on my birthday next year. I actually really hope not. <laughs> I actually really would prefer if they didn't do that, um, to be honest with you, but I know I can't force them. But it would, it would just be easier for me if I did not have to record on my birthday. <laughs> I mean, I, I could do it the next day or whatever. It's no big deal. But, you know, maybe if it came out the day after my birthday, it would be a good thing. Because I could still claim it as a birthday gift, but then it wouldn't be my actual birthday. <laughs> Hope says, I hope this Generations pack is actually horses. I mean, they're part of the family, too. You're so right, Hope. <laughs> we have taken this too far. Literally any time they do anything, there's gonna be like a kit leak for the like toothpaste kit. And we'll be like, you know, it might be horses though. Like, th th sure, it looks like a toothpaste tube, but what if it's a horse? It, it might be a horse. I mean, horses have teeth. Horses need to take care of their, their dental hygiene, too. You ever thought about that? <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I'm gonna do a tiny bit of yoga, and then I'm gonna go on a date, I think. That's my plan. That is my plan. <laughs> I hope they give us, like, a little horse figurine. I would love that. Imagine they did like an SDX drop, it's an update, and it's just like a little horse toy or something. We have a horse toy. I've taken this too far. I gotta stop. We have to stop. This is like the most unlikely, I, like, it's just not gonna happen. Like, we need to stop. We need to stop. Okay, I meant to go on a date this afternoon, because uh, I'm gonna try and convince brand to actually date me. So I'm going to the park in the snow and we're going to try and date. 
Yeah, you can make a horse thing on the woodworking table, that's true. It's not good enough. <laughs> I need more. <laughs> Abby Ainsley, thank you for the subs. I need more. Just redeemed the egg roll and wondering what happens next. Okay, so in the Discord, um, the mods uh, are, they do it manually, like by hand. So usually it happens like at the end of stream, they get them all. Cause it's a bit easier to do it all at once um, at the end of stream. But the mods will manually give you a role in the Discord server called the Egg Roll. It's going to change your name color to be special, it'll be yellow, and you also get access to a special channel. Um, but basically it's like a, um, I don't know, a status symbol <laughs> as a person who watches a lot of the streams uh, in the Discord server with the name color and stuff. So, uh, And there's actually three you can get. If you redeem it again, you get a pink version, and if you redeem it again, you get a horrible green version. Um, but yeah, the egg roll is manual, so if you're like, oh no, I don't have it yet, just wait until the end of the stream, because usually the mods do it at the end. Because um, it makes it a little bit easier for us to manage. <laughs> so, uh, okay. A suggestive conversation. First kiss <gasps> in the snow! Oh my god, it's gonna be so cute. It's gonna be so cute. It's gonna be so cute. <gasps> yes, these two have to get married and then eventually divorced, by the way, and then married again. <laughs> That's the rules of the challenge. The official rules of the challenge are to marry, divorce, and then remarry. Oh, your outfit is so cute. Sorry. Um, do you want to blow a kiss? Ask to be boyfriend? Please? Yay! Let's take a selfie. Oh, that's right. I was going to try and max the photography skill. I remember now. Boop, 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 boop. Anna, thank you for the 15 month resub. And Amanda, thank you for the two gifted subs as well. Um, take a photo of, how about one of Bran? Don't you walk away from me. I'm getting pictures. Cute pictures. What? Why are you doing that? <laughs> It's broken. Oh my god. Sims game. Wait, let me save. Let me try again. <laughs> okay. Let's try again. Can their kid be called Tony? Because Tony the Tiger is a cereal mascot and he's orange. Hope, I like the way you think. Raisin and Bran can absolutely have a kid named Tony. That is so good. Okay, it's fixed. You look so cute. I'm gonna take some pictures. All right, how am I doing skill-wise? Photography, oh, level one. <laughs> oh God. Oh dear, okay. <laughs> Let me, oh, maybe I'll work on different skills. <laughs> Tony is a great name. It's a good like uh, gender neutral name too. So that works, I like that. Christine made brand. Mrs. Tomato uh, made brand for us. Um, and a, a whole family for him as well. All right, well, I'm trying to build some skill. Oh, don't walk away from me. Why does everyone always walk away from me? I'm sick of this. Everybody is so mean in this game. I'm just trying to make friends. And nobody ever wants to be my friend. Okay. I'm trying to think logically about this though, because I've reached a point where I, I almost want to age up Raisin, because she's going to be a teen for too long. It's too long. But I don't know if I want to age her up now. <laughs> so what if we age Raisin up at the beginning of next stream? And then we like let her live in a micro home for a tiny bit before coming back um, to get, cause she has to live in three different worlds over the course of her life. So we could live in a micro home and then come back here and live with our family again, you know? Um, enough points for the connections trait. Oh, almost super close to that. Uh, isn't it 3000, the connections trait? Yeah, okay, well we have 2860. What about Bran? Well, we can live with Bran in the micro home. Or Bran, maybe she can move in with Bran when Bran moves back with us. Cause we're gonna basically, we'll leave the family here. 
we'll go live in a micro home and then we'll build a big house that everyone can live in and we'll move there together with everybody, I think is the idea. Um, that was kind of the thought process. Oh, you know what? That's maybe a good idea. She could live in the micro home until she gets divorced. Or maybe not, because it depends how many kids we want to have. We'll have to see. Because I don't know if I want to have kids in the micro home. Her parents will be dead? No, they're not going to be dead by then. We got time. They still have five days till they age up. And I'm going to age up raisin soon. So. But yeah, micro home for skill building. Because she needs to build so many skills. I figured it might be easier if we lived in micro home temporarily. Uh -huh. But she won't live there for that long. So the parents won't be dead. We got plenty of time. Plenty of time. But anyway, so she has to live in three worlds over the course of her life. That's one of the rules. Um, so we've lived in one, because we lived here in Mount Komorebi. We'll move to somewhere else for our micro home. And then when I build that giant house for everybody to live in, that'll be in a third world. So that'll be all of the worlds. Has she gotten emotional control back yet? Yeah, we're good. We still have all three of these things. So we're all set there. Um, maybe I'll do some yoga practice again. Because I want to get level eight. And then she can go to bed after that. Why is Perry the platypus on the counter? It's actually a radio. I've been using it to uh, get good at music. Or dancing, I mean, sorry. <laughs> Where can you watch my previous streams? Oh, good question, Laura. So you can watch them back on Twitch. Uh, the annoying thing about Twitch is that they expire after 60 days though. So if you wanted to, for some reason, watch like all of my old streams, or if it's easier for you to watch them on YouTube, I post them all on YouTube as well. I've got a channel called More Simsy on YouTube where I re-upload all of my streams. Um, so they're always there too. So I'll post this one like in a couple days. I'm uh, usually a couple days behind with the uploading, but um, they'll be there as well. Hey, oh my goodness, Athena, hello. Thank you for the raid. Um, do you wanna see my graves? <laughs> Every time I get raided when I'm playing with this particular household, I'm like, uh, I should probably address the elephant in the room, which is the fact that I have 83 graves in my front yard. Don't worry about it. Nothing to see here. <laughs> it's fine. It's just a fence. It's like a, you know, they're my lawn ornaments. Uh... <laughs> Anyway, so, but yeah, we've, in my defense, I've been playing, oh, this kid's outside. I've been playing with this family for like 15 generations. So some of these Sims died of old age. Not all of them, but some of them. I do have a pond full of sharks in the backyard, if you know what I mean, but. Oh God. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm gonna get- oh, freezing to death. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Stop doing that. Go to sleep. Let me put everyone to bed, actually, before I get too distracted here. Um, all right, bedtime. Bedtime. Okay, we should be good. Thought those were stepping stones? Oh, yeah, yeah, they're just stepping stones. That's it. Not graves, stepping stones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. <laughs> just, just stepping stones is all. Nothing to see there. <laughs> well, Athena, how was your stream? What did you guys get up to? Also, I'm so sorry. Don't feel like you have to stay. I know that when you get off stream, it's like probably dinner time, but um, thank you for hanging out and thank you for the raid. <laughs> Freezing to death? Nope, stop doing that. Yeah, well, it's annoying. I don't want her to freeze to death. That's extremely inconvenient, if I'm being honest. Also, don't worry. I know a couple of my sims are gray. They're not freezing to death. Uh, this sim, Grave, is half alien. His mom was an alien. Uh, and this is his daughter. She's also uh, gray. I think I'm allowed to cheat their needs a little. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, really, bootlegger? I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Oh, and you've been decorating in Dreamlight Valley? No, I am obsessed with Dreamlight Valley, too. We've been playing it so much. I really, really have enjoyed that game so much. It's like one of my favorite games that's come out in ages. I just, I really like Dreamlight Valley. It is so, so, so fun. I, like, anybody, any of you in chat who haven't played it yet, sincerely, I think you would have so much fun with it. It is such a good game. It is so, so, so fun. Um, okay. Let's go use the bathroom, I guess. Hang on. <laughs> you haven't played in two weeks and you really want to play it now? It's so fun! I'm, we're streaming it tomorrow. Uh, we're going to play tomorrow. So, what's Dreamlight Valley about? Okay, so 
it's basically like a, it's kind of quest based. And the whole idea is that it's like this valley, this is gonna make it sound like so Disney, but it kind of is, but it's okay. It's like this valley where um, all these Disney characters used to live. Um, and you have to like uh, unlock a bunch of them to get them back and then do quests as you like befriend them um, to like fix their and restore their memories and stuff. But the Disney characters are like Remy from Ratatouille and there's like Stitch from Lilo and Stitch <laughs> and a bunch of really fun characters. I think a lot of people upon first hearing it, they're like, oh, <laughs> okay, that's interesting. But it's genuinely like really fun. I think it's the combination of it being like so cute and so like grindy with like trying to finish the quest. There's always a task to do and it's it's real time. So there's like an element of like coming on daily and, and like, you know, checking your shop or whatever. And it's just really fun. There's like a bunch of cooking that you can do. And in the cooking, you can like guess with ingredients to figure out what the recipes are, which I really enjoy. A lot of like crafting and, and like collecting of ingredients to craft with. It's just really fun. It's not free to play. It's gonna be free to play at some point this year, but they haven't said when yet. Um, it's real time. Yeah, but not in the way that like Animal Crossing is. Cause Animal Crossing is, it's kind of like Animal Crossing in some ways, but Animal Crossing is more annoying with it. Cause you know, when you like plant stuff in Animal Crossing, you have to wait literally three days in real life for the crops to grow. In Dreamlight Valley, the crops grow in real time, kind of like a mobile game, but it's not a mobile game, um, where it takes like two hours in real life for the crops to grow, or depending on the crop, it takes different amounts of times, um, which can be a little annoying, but I don't know. I usually just plant pumpkins and then just get them the next day. So <laughs> um, even though they take like four hours, but yeah, basically you can pay now to play it now when it's in early access, or it'll be free when it comes out. Um, and when you buy it now, it comes with like some of the in-game currency and like some other bonus items and stuff. Um, but I, I think it's worth paying for. I know that like hearing that it's going to be free makes you think like, oh, I don't want to buy it. But it's not like a, a game where it's not worth the money. Like if it, if the free business wasn't there and there wasn't this early access thing going on, like it, it would be so worth the price, you know, so. It's also on Xbox Game Pass if you wanted to play it that way. I'm not sponsored today, by the way. I'm just telling you because <laughs> I like the game. <laughs> I've been sponsored in the past, so I, I'm like doing a spiel, but it, I like actually like the game. So, <laughs> oh, she's answering a question. <laughs> I realize that it sounds like an ad read or something though, but it's not, it's not. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's, it actually is really fun. So, um, all right. Everyone keeps sleeping. You have Game Pass? Yeah, nice. It is, it is uh, if you've got Xbox Game Pass, it's on Game Pass, so. So many of the games that I've been playing or excited about recently have been on Game Pass, um, which makes me think like, I don't, I don't have Game Pass, but now that I'm like learning about how many of these games that I want to play and like are on Game Pass, I'm like, maybe I should get Game Pass. <laughs> because like everything I want to play is, has been on it recently, so. Seems like a, a decent deal, so. Did Barney die? Oh no, Barney's just here. Just a, still a bear. <laughs> still just a bear. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you washing your hands there? Um, do you know what? I haven't played um, the new My Time at Porsche game, that My Time at Sandrock. I really liked My Time at Porsche when I played it. I never played it when it was actually out though. I played My Time at Porsche when it was an early access and I played it so much. Like I was like playing it and then catching up with all of the content that existed in the game and then not having anything else to do in it. <laughs> and I've only played it in early access. I never actually played it when it was fully released, but I played that game so much my freshman year of college so much. I used to stream that like half the time. I would play that and The Sims. So I, but I really enjoyed that game. I thought it was so fun, but I, I haven't played the new one yet. Um, that was a fun one. Okay. Do you want to serve breakfast? How about some fruit salad? No fires. You aren't allowed to cook anything for real. <laughs> Did I ever graduate from college? Yeah. <laughs> I graduated in, in like May of 2020. I have a history degree. Um, yeah, I did. I played it so much, Jack. I played it so much. <laughs> all right. Send all students alone. Go away. 
I don't wish to take care of you today. I wish to build my skills today, though. Okay, well, I'll probably, like I said, I think after this stream, when we come on next stream, I'll probably, next time we play, age up Raisin and then build her her micro home and let her live there for a little bit. I think that'll be our plans for, um, for next one. Yeah, Raisin graduated early, so we've been at home a lot, skill building, like, all day during the day. <laughs> Which is actually kind of useful, honestly. Um, but we've been working on that mostly today, just skill building and stuff. Um, have I done other life challenges besides Not So Berry? Well, Darth, I've never- I don't really play a lot of, like, themed legacy challenges. I've, I've played the beginning of the Disney Princess Legacy Challenge a couple times, but I never finished it. I've played, like, a, a regular legacy challenge, like, just a 10-generation family with no special rules or anything. But I don't really find myself playing that many, like, special rule type of sim saves, I've noticed. Um... So Not So Berry is a legacy challenge that I wrote, and I've played that one, <laughs> but I suppose I'm a little bit biased there. Uh, I specifically made it to my liking. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so it's no surprise that I enjoy playing Not So Berry, because um, I wrote it so that I would. <laughs> it's a little bit customized, if you will. <laughs> so, um, All right. Can I maybe, I know I keep doing this, but can we maybe like try and finish that last little bit of wellness to get level eight? Cause then we can stop having to do yoga. We just need level eight and then we can stop. And we're really close. So come on game, I'm begging you. Just finish it, please. Please, please, please. Almost there. That's fun though, Hope. I love that, like writing yourself a challenge, writing yourself a challenge, I'm sorry, and like customizing it to things that like specifically you want to try and do. Like if there's stuff in a pack that you've never used and, and you like give yourself an excuse to really try it, that's so fun. That's what I did Not So Berry with. Granted, I wrote it five years ago, so it's a little, it's not so new anymore. Um, but it's fun to have like, uh, I don't know, an idea, like a plan to get yourself to play through parts of packs you haven't used yet. Oh, we're both dancing! That's actually kind of cute. <laughs> Make funny faces. Can I, like, form a group? Add to group. How about we do that, and then we, um... <laughs> dance together. Because then I that should build social. And the dancing skill. Okay. Okay. I want to try- No! Do it again! You have no choice but to do it again. I really, really would like for you to get level five. So if I can get level five, then I will feel safe ending stream. <laughs> I just want to get a little bit more and then I will feel comfortable ending stream because we're so close. Look at that. Come on, come on. Yes, okay. We max the dancing skill. That's step one of, of this challenge. We're already partially there. Maybe I'll go try and see the boyfriend again too. Oh, Cable, Jungle Adventure is fun. It actually, those temples are kind of fun to play with. Oh, let's go to a restaurant. This is one that I think someone built for um, maybe a shell challenge, if I remember correctly. Um, which is kind of cute. Yeah, we had a roadmap come out today, Pinto Bean. On the roadmap, they teased a uh, update, a big update, which I assume is the infants update. Uh, two kits and an expansion pack that we think is going to be Generations. That was on the roadmap. So we don't have dates for any of that, but we can assume like in the next few months those things will come out because usually they do about a roadmap every quarter, so. Come on. Load a little bit faster. No pressure game, but like, come on. <laughs> come on. Oh, that's fun, Ange. Oh, wow, the weather sucks. Okay. Well, Hello? Why isn't it working? It is a restaurant, right? Maybe it's classed as something else. No, it's a restaurant. Maybe the... Because they're not inside yet? 
the host isn't inside, perhaps? Where's... Oh, we're coming around the back. Everyone's coming around the back in the blizzard, so... Huh. This isn't going that well, I've noticed. Mess around? Where? Oh, tell me not in the dumpster. Oh my god, I think they're gonna mess around in the dumpster. Oh no! Oh, this is the first time- <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm actually sorry. I'm sorry. This is disgusting. Like, actually disgusting. At least it'll be memorable. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it, yeah. <laughs> Thought you were crying. <laughs> I might as well cry. This is upsetting. Look at her feet. What is that? I want a picture of this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ew. Do you smell now? Oh, not that much. Okay, well, the restaurant doesn't work, so. <laughs> I came here hoping to get some food. Instead, I have my Sam Woohoo in a dumpster. Um, maybe I should leave. Well, actually, let's talk for a second. Let's do some, oops. Let's do some plotting. Because next time we play, uh, like we discussed, we're going to want to, um... We're going to want to build the new house and also age up my sim. So... Oh, I have such a... I, I have scheduled too many things. Okay. Moving villager... Or moving the shell challenge thing to... Uh, Friday of next week. Let's play Not So Berry next Monday. And then we will age up and build new house. We'll age up the sim and then we'll build the micro home. And when we build the micro home, where do you want to live? Because we'll have to, we'll build the like big house later. But we'll start with the micro home because we're going to live there for probably like four or five in-game days. Where should it be? Evergreen Harbor. Oh, that might be kind of fun. Copperdale. Copperdale could be fun. Sulani could be fun. Oh, because that's like the opposite of where she grew up in Mount Komorebi, she could be like, I want to live on the beach for a while. <gasps> I love that. She could go live like on the water in Sulani for like, you know, five days. And then from there, I don't know where we'll live um, with the main family. Maybe we can move to Copperdale with everybody or something afterward. But we could live in Sulani for a little bit. That could be cool. But we have to live in three worlds over the course of our life. So obviously Mount Komorebi, Sulani, and then, you know, Copperdale or whenever it ends up being. Okay. Okay. We'll build like a little tiny beach house. A micro beach house. <laughs> a very, very small beach house. But I like the idea of that. A very tiny purple beach house. Is there a lot of purple swatches? We'll have to find out. Because it does have to be purple. That's extremely important to me. Um, okay, come along. Let's just triple check. Maybe the purple metal. Oh, that's true. There is a purple metal. That could work. Um, let me look at the Pax Island Living. Because these don't come in purple. But... We do have, oh, is there not a purple metal either? Oh my God. Whose idea was it to have a purple gen, Simsy? She could max the fitness skill swimming. That's true, we could do fitness. Although we did fitness with last generation. Her dad had the fitness skill, so. You see spa day metal? Mm. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that'll work. Oh, fishing skill. We could get really into fishing. <gasps> that could be fun. 
Okay. Is that glowing? Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. That is glowing. Sure is. <laughs> oh, anyway. Well, we'll figure that out next week. We'll do that next Monday. We'll figure that out. Um, as far as the rest of this uh, week goes, we're going to play Dreamlight Valley tomorrow, but in the morning, because um, I stream in the morning on Wednesdays. On Thursday, oh, well, I was going to build on Thursday anyway. Wait, pause. What if we did it on Thursday? I'm silly. We're going to build the house so we could age up the sim and then build a micro home on Thursday. Scratch that. We'll build the house on Thursday. Micro home on Thursday. On Friday, we're playing Among Us. Very exciting. And then on Saturday, we're going to play The Sims 3. So I'm going to make a new legacy challenge in The Sims 3, I think, which should be very, very fun. Um, but anyway, I think on that note, I'll probably get off stream here in a minute. Um, by the way, Fairy and Feral and Hallie, thank you for the resubs. I really appreciate that. And if any of you missed it, The Sims team posted a kind of exciting teaser about some upcoming content for The Sims 4 uh, today on Twitter. So I can link this in the chat for you, but also I made an entire video on my YouTube channel today talking about this. So if you're curious and you're like, what's the new expansion pack? Oh my God. I, I do have, um, a video on this on my YouTube channel from earlier today. So if you'd like to watch that, it's like nine minutes long or something. So, um, feel free to head over there and watch that to get some info <laughs> on the teaser. Uh, and I'm going to go find someone to rate, I think. Thank you again for hanging out tonight. It's been fun. Um, I always get a little bit overwhelmed <laughs> when I have so many sims in my household. So I feel like I didn't do that good of a job. I feel like you could tell that I was a bit like, ah, <laughs> for a while in the middle there because I was like, I have too many sims to deal with. I, I did have a phase of really regretting having that accident baby, but we'll get through it. It's going to be fine. <laughs> we'll make it through this. We'll make it through. Um, Oh my goodness, I think I know where I want to go because my dear friend Kayla, um, I think a lot of you might remember this, but a couple months ago, I was invited to be a part of this program called the at and Class of 2022 as the mentor. And the idea was that they had like six streamers and a mentor um, to like help level up those six streamers streams um, and give them front page time and help, uh, help them buy new equipment and stuff, uh, which is kind of the plan. And they do this every few months. They have like a new class of like six streamers. Well, my friend Kayla is a part of the group now. Um, and today is one of her sponsored front page streams. So I almost want to go over there and support her with this. Um, because that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, I'm really, really grateful for at and By the way, I'm not sponsored right now. I'm just speaking about this, but I'm really grateful for at and personally because they have really, really supported the Sims community with this. They have sponsored like literally all of my friends, like all of them, Kayla, Shella, Steven, Maggie, like we, I could give you this giant list of, of Sims friends of mine who have uh, been a part of this program that AT&T has done. And it really is a, is a cool thing. It's a great opportunity to have all that front page time and they, they pay really well. Like it's, it's been really cool. So, um, I think we should go raid Kayla and support her with her sponsored stream. Um, Momo as well. No, literally so many of my friends have, well, I'm not kidding. Like I could give you a long list. Like so many of my friends have been a part of this. Um, somebody at and must like the Sims because they are really supporting our, our, our Sims community on Twitch. But anyway, please go say hi to Kayla. I'm not sure what she's doing, but it looks like she's building, um, which I am into. So I'm ready to go see. Um, Say, say hi for me. Tell her I sent you. Um, and I'll catch you all tomorrow. Okay? Okay. I love you. I miss you all already. Have a great rest of your night. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> and